Welcome in, everyone. Get that back down to a more reasonable level. Zesty. Muffin. I lost my chat. I don't know if anyone said anything before that. <laughs> it all got refreshed. <laughs> so, welcome in. Um, actually, let me test. Is Colonel Bot here? Colonel Bot's here. All right. Sometimes he doesn't work. You know, he's just living in the dungeons. Alright, uh, yeah, so today we are building the gold farm, Yester, Yester stream. we got all the ingredients we needed, uh, we spent a whole stream preparing to build this farm, so now I hope we can just knock it out. This is the wrong world. <laughs> that is backup. <laughs> this is the real one. And here we are. Colonel Bot is always here, never late. There used to be a problem with Colonel Bot, uh, where I'm pretty sure he's been working for like two weeks straight without any issues. So I think we're good to, to trust him. Why don't I have audio? That's why. That's why. Okay, so... Wait, what, what color should we dye our glass? I never dyed our glass. Uh, what color do we want? White, light gray, black. What a unit. Yeah, put them to work. Uh, what color? What color? We could we could do a, a red, a pink, a yellow, a, a magenta, real easily, or we could just stick with a white real easily. Uh, maybe a light gray. I don't know if I have enough black to like make a gray or a black. But any opinions? Purple. Could also do orange. I don't want orange, I know that much. Um, purple, what, wait, what color do I actually get from these flowers? Um, yeah, with red and yellow dye. I could, I don't want one though. <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, I don't know, purple is something I would use in the end, not the nether. An orange would be something that's nether-like, but I don't really want to put more orange into here. Thank you, Colonel Bot. If you're not a real bot, try using real words this time. Um, I don't know. Where's my plants? That's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna go with red. I'm gonna go with red. So... Famoose. That might be enough. Let's find out. Oh, wait, why do I have all of this stuff here? Does anyone remember why? Anyone know what I'm doing? I sure as heck don't know what I'm doing. Uh, is that all the red dye we had? Oof. Ah, uh, so Zesty, how are you doing? Muffin, how are you doing? Wait, shouldn't I have tons of poppies? Why? Eh, I'll just, I'll just do this. I'll just do this anyway. I could go back to the spawn chunks and I have infinite poppies, but... We'll just do this right now. Doing foam? I hope you hear all my bees in there. I did put up together a makeshift uh, bee farm. That's going pretty strong. But we're not here to worry about the bees today. Wait, why do I have more glass than... Uh, who knows? Great, now that I'm here. Oh, oh, yes, yes. How are you doing, uh, serving? Good vibes? You know, I didn't realize until someone else uh, pointed it out, I think, uh, whoever BAM's rated today, your name is one serving of good vibes. I've never seen the word of in there. Not a single time that I've ever read your name have I seen the word of in there. I just thought your name was serving good vibes with a one in the front. Yep. 
True story. I thought you were just out serving good vibes. I didn't know you yourself were a serving of good vibes. I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, I had some red dye. Oh, man. All right. So now we turn the glass red, um, and we got everything else that we could ever possibly need. He can be both. Yeah, he get so he would be serving himself to people. If he's a serving of good vibes, who is serving good vibes, he would then be feeding himself to people. Whatever, he can do whatever he wants. All right, we're gonna need this. Let's get into the Nether and not come out for a long time, hopefully. So I put together my, um, the reason I accidentally logged into a backup of the world is because I needed to find the right spot to make the farm. The cameraman, of course I play on PC. This is, uh, you can see my PC specs up in the top right there. This is Java Minecraft. For a second I thought this was saying I was playing Minecraft version 1.8. No, that's Java version 1.8, apparently. <laughs> I was like, hold on. Wait, that's that's half as many as versions as I should be playing. Actually, what does it show? Does it show both my graphics cards? No. It only shows the one Minecraft is using. That's useful. Boink. I think you're the only one, actually. I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen Serving of Good Vi- Hey, man. I mean, just because I can't read doesn't mean other people have the same problem. One shot. Ooh, I also wanted to try and get some advancements today, too. I feel like my levels got reset or something. I feel like my levels got reset. That's weird. You just call them vibes or serving. Yeah, I, I usually go with serving. But it, it just, uh, I read out whoever Bam's rated today. I, I heard him read out his name, I believe. Maybe that was the other day. Who knows? Who knows? So I've got some new music in the playlist today. Basically doubled the length of my playlist, so it's not as repetitive. Um, with some music that is kind of on brand with the music I've been playing. It's not from like the same album, but you know, it's from the same people. So we'll, we'll see if I like it. It's also because the of is all lowercase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what it is, honestly. I just, uh... I, I, okay, so I read a study once back when I was in high school. It was in one of my science classes, I believe. Um, I don't know why I read this in a science class, but it was basically about a thing that, like, if you if you look at a word, like if you look at the word "serving," right, and let's say the e and the r are backwards, your brain most likely will still read the word right if the f beginning and the end of it are the same. So like if S and the G are in the right spot and all the letters remain the same in there, you will most likely read that as the right word even though it's spelled wrong. I'm thinking maybe my dumbass brain just skipped from serving to good and thought of the of and it's that same kind of trick. You also heard about this. Yeah, I think it's just that kind of uh that kind of thing. Uh, how much did my camera cost? Um uh, like 400 something dollars i don't know yeah it is really cool the teacher like put it up on the on the projector or maybe it was a smart board maybe it was back when those were cool i don't quite remember i think it was a smart board actually that that school that i had oh boy that shouldn't be on thank you <laughs> Uh, that's a, uh, I have a mini HUD for like the thing in the, oh, you can't see when I point, for the thing in the top corner. It also can show spawn stuff, and I was, apparently it remembers the coordinates of that, no matter what world you're in. Huh. Oh, well. <clears throat> 
My camera's more like 400k. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Did you know what I... Oh, man, I watched um, a Linus Tech Tip video about... Uh, about their new 12k cameras that they use. They're only 10 grand compared to their current, like, you know, 40 grand cameras that shoot 8k. Which both of those are completely out of my range uh, in terms of budget and all of the accessories required, yada, yada, yada. But it's still really cool to look at. And I was like, man, imagine just having like a 12K camera here. <laughs> It'd be massive. <laughs> Did I see the new Apple AirPods? Like the over-ear ones? I saw a picture of them, I think. I didn't like uh, see a review or anything detailed. Only one of the elementary schools I went to had a smart board. My middle and high school didn't have any. So yeah, my elementary school had them, and then the first high school I went to had them. Um, but then the second high school I went to did not. They're five. Excuse me. They're five. So I work. Work out. Yeah. Yes. I have. I have a job. I have a job. I do work. That's why I stream so late at night. Because I work. And then I, you know, spend at least a couple hours with my family. And then I work. Or, and then I, I, I work. <laughs> then I stream. Oh, let me turn off the audio in this game. Because I, I need to use this game to see where I'm building things at. Because there's no tutorial. T -t -t tutorial. So I just pull up a second game on the next monitor. But I hurt my neck today, so let's see how this goes, because I may not want to look over here. My neck was just sore today for some reason. I had like a sharp pain like right here. thought I was going to die. Haven't yet, so that's fine. Um, did you go to Yale? Because <laughs> you have a cool job. <laughs> Wait, um, I don't believe... I don't believe I have a cool job. Unless you think streaming is a cool job. In which case, I would love for that to be my job. No, read it. Read it right. A cool job. Oh my god. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, so let's set this other game to... I... Spectator. Oh my god. Slash. Kill. Porn on the yob. Um. How do I. How do I kill all mobs except for me? I don't know. Alright, regardless, I know the coordinates I need to go to. I have them written down. Gold farm killing spot. We... Alright, let's just take all these shulker boxes out. It's really close to right here, but there's going to be a little bit of room to, like, walk. You know, um, barely any, but some, nonetheless. What is TNT? Dynamite. TNT stands for... Uh... No, not like that. TNT stands for tomatoes, not... Tomatoes. I'm very original. Thank you. Alright, uh... The reward? Oh! Oh, understood. Um... Uh, if you click it, you can read the description, but it should say something along the lines of you get to place a piece of TNT anywhere in my world. And it's up to me whether or not I blow it up, but the only way that I can remove that block is to blow it up. So if you put it somewhere that I don't want it to be, I have to blow it up to get rid of it. I think it's a pretty cool thing. No one's redeemed it yet. 
No one's redeemed it yet. Yeah, but this is a lot of material, Zesty. So look, we got all of this stuff's right here. TNT means Texas never tires. It true. I mean that's that that is a, a factual statement. Alright, so let's take some red ass glass and let's go to these coordinates. What are we going to? 381. Oh, back this way. 381 by negative 590. No way. No, 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 no. That's not right. I did not put it directly over this hole. I put it like somewhere over there. Uh, what? Uh, uh. Are you kidding me? The exact place I flew to is literally directly above this? That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Did I hear glass? So you're working on an art piece still? Awesome, man. All right. So let me see at least how many blocks forward I need to move this thing. What on earth did I just start up? What world did I just load up? It was something not good. Oh, it was a gold farm. Okay, yep. I'm just in the nether, that's what's wrong. So you guys can't see what I'm doing. Because this is not supposed to be something I need to interact with that often. Uh. So if this is the spot that I chose to stand, I need to go one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks forward. Okay, so seven blocks in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this one here is where I can pillar up to Y level 175, I believe. Yes. Just, uh, yeah, whatever you have when you're finished, either put it in the Discord or anything like that. Alright, so this will be the spot where we do our slashing, right here. Uh, and it is a looting 3 farm, so, yeah. Uh, what, what we're going to do, though, now is put this into spectator mode on this account. I need to go forward. Yeah, let's build a platform, I guess. Five wide. One, two on this side. One, two on this side. We'll go three, but I almost just walked right off the edge. Almost just right off the edge. Uh, so does everyone have a good weekend? Since I last spoke to you. Onyx, how you doing? How are... How good are looting three farms? This does 93,000, or this does over 90,000 uh, items an hour. And because it's looting, th and it's not there, because you get looting, uh, a good chunk of those items are gold ingots, not nuggets. 
Some of them are gold ingots, not nut. Like, when I say a good chunk of it, I think I mean, like, maybe 10%. But even then, that's, that's very good. Uh, okay. Alright, so we need to do... A two block gap, then we do that. Have you died since the first time? Nope, still on season two. Imagine thinking I would die again. Then it goes two blocks back, I believe. Yeah. All right, yep. So these two. Let me do this one and skip one. Let me do this one, or we skip that one. And I don't care if we lose any, uh... Any items or whatnot. That's fine by me. Okay, so right now we're just gonna build this up to where it needs to be. And, uh... Yeah, and we'll come back and deal with the bottom later. We're gonna do the top spawning half first. Do you like spicy food? Uh... It depends. It depends. Uh, like something that's really spicy, or like spicy just to be hot, I don't really like. If it has a good flavor while it's spicy, I'll, I'll tolerate it. But like, I'm not a big fan of just like eating something spicy just like, because. Uh, I, I don't do well. I like, I like, you know, get really like, tears start flowing real easily. And you know, it hurts my ego too much to show that, so, so I just don't very often. <laughs> ah, poop. So, how has streaming been? It's been a while. Oh, yeah. Uh, streaming's been great, man. We've been, uh, we've been having a great time working on Season 2. Getting very, uh, very progressed. We're also going, you know, for the HCMC 100 challenge, and we're getting really close. We're way closer already in this world than we were in Season 1. Uh, we have very few advancements left to go. Um, actually, I could check how many, uh, how many do I have left? Because I'm interested to know. One, one in, in the Minecraft tab, it looks like seven in the Nether tab, three in the End tab, it looks like another seven in Adventure, and then two in Husbandry. So we're like at least two-thirds of the way done. Uh, maybe more. Hey, Hockey Dad, how you doing? <laughs> Wait, what Y level am I going to? I am not paying attention. Rat. We're not actually going that high. We're going to 198. Oh, we're already at 2 flipping 05. Okay, wait. So let me, let me, let me try this real quick in the other one. Yeah, we're going to, or, okay, the block we're standing on is 199. Let me, okay, so we don't, we do need to keep that and these, but not that. Okay, so this column and this column need dug back down to 199. You got a stream? Oh, well, no worries, man. Have a good night whenever that is. Big pog. Something's a big pog. Everything's a big pog when I'm in town. Okay. So then the rest of this goes all the way up to the build limit. All the way, 
straight up, right? To where I'm standing on 255. Okay, so one below the build limit. Oh, don't open to land. Uh, can I get back up? What data pack shows the information in the corner? It, it, it is not a uh, data pack. It is a mod, um, but it's the fabric mod loader. It's called Mini HUD, but because it is a, uh, a just a client side mod, I do not consider it like unvanilla because it only changes how things look. It does not change anything about how the game plays. It's just the same as Optifine in my opinion. Which I also have loaded uh, in fabric. But it's called Mini HUD. There's quite a few things you got to do to get it working. And it also does cool things like this. So this shows the spawning area around that spot right there. So like for when we have to clear out the nether below, I'll know exactly where I need to clear and stuff like that. It's very helpful, very handy. I, that's what I had left on accidentally because I was looking at it in a world back up earlier so I could find the right spot. And apparently I found the right spot and it happened to be the exact wrong spot. I would say it's okay to have. My PC can't run fabric, unfortunately. Fabric is actually less intensive than uh, than vanilla. By uh... so the fabric mod loader does like literally nothing by itself, and then you can install like Optifine um, and things like that too. You have to install like Optifabric is a is a mod thing that makes Optifine work on fabric. It, what the hell? Oh my gosh! He just like... Oh my... <laughs> what are they doing up here? If I open one of these, they'll get triggered! At a... Oh. Yeah, I, yeah I, I went back and forth. The main reason... The, the reason I install it is because I don't know if you saw when I when I look in my inventory at a shulker box it shows the inventory of the shulker box when I hover over it next time I look in my ender chest remind me to show you if you if you didn't see it uh, that is the main reason I installed the mod um, because I, I I've seen several youtubers have that and I wanted it um, and then uh, I've just kind of uh, looked for a couple more features in it it also shows you like where your actual spawn chunks are and stuff like that. It was really good for like planning out where to put the iron farm and finding where the exact center of the iron f or of the spawn chunks are. So I could put my portal exact center of the spawn chunks. I don't know. Rules for my world say it's okay. Rules for your world, they can differ. Bams would call me a filthy cheater. <laughs> all right onyx all right man have a good time boing 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 dc me how you doing wait hold on wait hold on and we're back new transition trying it out for a bit we'll see how we like it what, what do you guys think of DC me's work I love the pink slime ah. how high are we oh wait I went one block too high already Ugh. Who knows Call of Duty? I think everybody in the world knows of Call of Duty. Maybe maybe not some third world countries or something, but you know. Um All right. What is the plan here? What is the plan here? We're going to Next, I think I need yeah, next I need grindstones. So I'm going to go down and grab all my grindstones. 
Made like three stacks of them. Jeez, this is so, so tall. Is infinite warfare any good? I have no idea. I uh, personally don't believe there's been a good Call of Duty in many years. Um, but that's just me. Okay, first we're gonna need that. Then we're gonna... Yeah, then we're gonna also take some of these. Yeah, we're just gonna, st gonna start taking all those. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've, uh, oh shoot. Yeah, I'm not really a Call of Duty fan anymore. I mean, I was in, uh, in grade school and in high school a little. Uh, okay, so right here, what is the plan on this bottom floor? How is it done? Swoosh. So, I just do a circle around it, leaving out... No, not leaving anything out. I just do a circle. Wait, do I have my Frostwalker boots on? I don't. Figures I would forget that. Oh, well, they're probably downstairs. See ya, man! Have a good night. And have a good stream. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I wanted to get... This is supposed to be out. I thought I heard a piglin. Okay, that's supposed to be out. And... What else am I going for? I said I needed something else. Oh, my boots. My boots. My boots. I made new boots and I forgot to put them on. Swapping out the hockey skates for the fine frostbites. They're just fine, bruh. My boots. My boots are on fire. Welcome in, Zopa. How you doing? Woo! I was trying to think of a, of a witty, uh, witty stream title today. I could not for the life of me. Gotta have that frost to combat the heat. Yeah. You know, I didn't know that was a thing. Did that get added in after the fact to Frostwalker or something? Because, like, I feel like when Frostwalker came out, or, it, like, that wasn't a thing. And I never heard about it until I saw Bams do it. So, so from right here, we go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, what? Wait, what? I, something's wrong here. Oh, something's very, very wrong here. Oh! Oh, that's what's wrong. Okay. Uh, so this is also supposed to be that. Then all of this doesn't need to be here. And this should be that as well. Great. Okay, so we got an extra pillar on this side and this side to get rid of. But for now, let's just go around it with this. Zopa is the entire welcoming committee. Even... Even when he's the one... <laughs> you could have done golden opportunities. I was thinking, I was trying to think of like a thing that had like, uh, like, you know, three words to start with G. So I was like trying to think of like, you know, giant golden something. And my mind kept saying giant golden gargoyles. And like, I couldn't get away from saying that. So I couldn't find a third word because my brain just kept saying giant, giant golden gargoyles. And I don't know why, but that's just the first G, third G word that came to my mind. And then that set off my brain to like, you know, say, hey, I've thought of three. I don't need to think of any more. Giant golden Goliath. Ooh. Oh, shit. I need to land on top of here. Okay. 
giant golden ghasts. But people would expect me to build a giant golden ghast, would they not? Oh, I could build a giant golden ghast, though, when this is done. Let's do it. Let's have a giant golden ghast statue. Great goofy goobers. I, I'd sing it, but, like, uh, I don't want to get uh, DMCA'd by Spongebob. Imagine. So I had a... Oh, so remember how recently we've had the question come up several times. Pizza versus burgers, right? So today we had... It's not delivery. It's DiGornio. And I, I gotta say... That DiGiorno pizza was better than the, uh, than the Pizza Hut that I had, uh, the previous weekend. Or, a few days ago. But why not a Purger? Those were, those were, uh, brilliant movies. 10 out of 10. Pizza is tenfold better than Burger. No, I've been on Team Burger this whole time. I've been on Team Burger this whole time, um, but I just had a DiGiorno, and, you know, I gotta say, it was better than the, uh, big chain pizza. Burger has more customization to it. I feel like they're both, uh, I feel like, if anything, pizza has more customization to it, but I feel like, you know, just like your standard burger versus your standard pizza... Uh, burger's gonna win. Two, four, six, eight, straight from there. Eight from right here. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will be the controversy to end my channel. We we disagree on uh on on that, everyone's gonna unfollow, unsub. All right, so I'm just getting the first shape down. Okay, so that's the halfway point. So then we got two. We come out one and go two again. Okay, then we go out three, then this should be the exact center. Yep, we go in by one. Dude, I remember building this last time. I, I already can remember the pattern. It's two, two, then two. That's three. Then two here. And then three. <laughs> Unsub, not you. you. You'll stay. All right, I see how it is, Zopa. I see how it is. Not the gumdrop. <laughs> so like a unsub, unfollow, unmod, and everything. Oh my god. Yeah, that's 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 the big controversy that gets me cancelled. I took a hard stance on favorite dinner. <laughs> Clean slate. I did not expect to start getting spawns. Solicited normal, how you doing? How's it going, man? We're building the gold farm. I, I think, uh, so, so as we were talking about stream titles, right, I think the stream, I think the stream where I finish this farm, I'm gonna name, I'm gonna title the stream Golden Showers, because that's all it is gonna look like down there, it's gonna look like showers of gold, or is that TOS, that might be TOS, never mind. All right, first layer down, I think 19 more to go. <laughs> yeah, we end the farm and talk about how I'm getting banned. Oh. 
tired. Going to be driving over 16 hours over the next three days for a few. Oh, that's the worst reason, man. I'm not saying don't bring me down, but don't bring me down, man. No, I'm sorry to hear that, though. That shit sucks. My, uh, yeah, I had to, oh, come on. I also had to attend a, a funeral during COVID, uh, but we just did it over Zoom. Very, very personal experience. Come on, don't do this to me. But it's gonna take you 16 out. Oh, I assume it's like eight hours there, then eight hours back, and you're like gonna stay two nights or something. Or is it 16 hours one way? That's a long trip if it's the case. Also attended a funeral over Zoom during COVID. A Twitch streamer actually? Oh, dang. Imagine, uh, I don't, I'm not gonna joke about that. Um, but, that's crazy. Did some did someone have like a public funeral? Eight hours one way. Okay, that that makes more sense. I thought you were going sixteen hours one day, and I was confused why driving sixteen hours would take three days. Dude, I remember though we uh we obviously live in Ohio, and when I was a kid, for two trips we went down to one to Hilton Head, and then another year down to Orlando. And we uh, spent, God, who knows how, we, they were both like 15 plus hour drives. Um, well, I think, I think Hilton Head was a 15 hour drive, right? And we did that in a day. We woke up at 6 a.m., got in the car and drove for 15 hours until we arrived at our hotel in Hilton Head. It was brutal. Oh, wait, was, was Chickie's, was that a thing? thing did i miss that one of the oh yep okay not her yeah dude i was devastated when i heard about that i i'll be honest i didn't uh i follow sting in before uh i heard him in bams's chat and all that stuff but then definitely followed him everywhere and kept up to date it was very sad very sad One of the GTA RP streamers passed away in July, so the whole community was grieving, and the streamers streamed the funeral for the community. Wow. I hope one day that many people care to see when I die. <laughs> They'd probably be celebrating. Oh, God. That's morbid. Should I put the Easter eggs in here first? So that anything that spawns will immediately go and fall down and not be a problem. I think I should. Hey, Plaz, how you doing? You're too cute to not mourn. Aww. <laughs> you came at a dark time. You did. Uh, we're, I'm kind of trying to lift up Solicited's mood, or maybe I'm making it worse. Who knows? Who knows? I mourn with laughter, so if I'm not helping, tell me to shut up. <laughs> A mod in Summit's chat. Why, why are you pissed at me? Do they not sound pissed? Just gonna, just wanna get a, gonna put a cap on that. Boink. Uh, I think they're hungry. Is that a thing? Is that really a thing? You've said that twice now, I believe. Called them hungry. I mourn while mourning. <laughs> True. Toss a carrot in the hole. Oh, they're here. Are they gonna be pissed? I was just opening. I'm not. I'm not letting that guy up. I ain't letting him up. Um, Colonel Sanders.
Oh wait, I didn't even see your last one, Zesty. Uh, ton tons of medical bills. Uh, you talking about stinging? I mean, wouldn't uh, I don't know exact. I don't know how this stuff works usually, but because uh, I haven't had to deal with it. But wouldn't like that not be his problem because they weren't married? Maybe they were married and I'm unaware. Like I said, I'm I'm new to that whole thing. All he needs is a carrot. He can he can die for all I care. Um, okay, we also need these. Oh, he was also hospitalized. True, true, true. All right, let's get back up there. Oh, we need to go to this first platform. Oh God, I. Uh, so yeah, side B. Oh my God, if that's real. Dude, I'm already so hyped. I'm I'm prepared to take the biggest L if it's fake. But music to be murdered by side B, that is gotta be real. If it's not real, I'm gonna be a very, very sad boy. Fake news? Zopa, get out of here with your fake news. I can dream. SMP. Um... <laughs> uh, how does one do this now? So the first one is level with that floor. So I, I dream SMP is the joke I made with. I can dream SMP. You know, I, no, I, I'll shut up. Um, all right. It was a bad pun, and bad puns are bad. One day I was really, really sad for for one whole day thoughts on those lyrics 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 lyrics <laughs> you do want you <laughs> yeah su such complicated jokes such complicated jokes I'd say those lyrics are 10 out of 10, not 1 out of 10. All lyrics are 10 out of 10 if they're original. Changed my mind. What am I building? Explain it to a new. I am building the fastest uh, gold farm there is. It's made by Nembomb. So, I can give you a quick rundown. Ah. So there, these are the shape of the spawning platforms where only pigments spawn, right? And, oh my god. We're going to turn these guys down just a little bit. And only pigments spawn here because, because of the biome uh, and the magma block, these are the only things that will spawn here, right? So we're going to have eggs, turtle eggs here in the middle with grindstones and trap doors at the edges and that's just to get them to fall in line in the right spot right then we're gonna have a tons of platforms all the way up to there where they just spawn in get aggro straight to the egg and fall down this is supposedly the most efficient version of that possible uh and nembom has a video explaining why and i believe him so this is what we're building whoops you got crop dusted? Oh, sorry, I'm back. My brother came. Oh, God. Yep. Dude, I had a teacher in college that, like, made a point to crop dust the classroom. Well, damn, I know nothing of Minecraft again. Uh, there's a lot of farms like this. Uh, they got really, uh, they got nerfed and buffed in 116 well no minecraft was gonna nerf them but the amount of community backlash they decided to uh to not nerf it and then at the same time people found new mechanics and buffed it <laughs> so um yeah the donut shape is not the best shape anymore this is this is the better one and when they do nerf that donut shaped the old style donut shaped one this is the best gold farm and it still is the best gold farm now even mm. my headrest makes it hard to lean back far enough to get the last bit out of the can i gotta lean forward i would throw this but there's a little sprinkle and then it'll go all over my walls
Um, shit, how am I supposed to place this? All the homies hate donut shape. True. True. Oh my lord. Oh my god, what just happened? Oh, I'm in my other game trying to look at coordinates, right? Um, okay, so this is in the center at 197. Colonel is all we need. <laughs> oh, wait. It was along the lines of, hi, how are you? And the combo lasted four minutes when she found out I was 17. Wait, what? Hold on. Pokemon DM'd me three years ago. So glad I didn't do <laughs> Oh my god. Look at how efficient this is, though. Just standing up there, we got these many boys. Um... Oh shoot, that's the wrong coordinate. Oh! Woo. I took a heart of damage somehow, I don't know how. But we did. It's fine, though. Yes! Don't hit pig boys. True. You know what we'll do to counter this, actually? And then as long as we fly up real close to the ground, that'll spawn some underneath us. And then we can go up here. And now we shouldn't have that many. Woo! That was a little risky. Oh, I probably clipped right there. Because uh, my microphone. I think that's the level. 198, crap. 197. Beautiful. The game just yelled at me or farted at me or something. Alright, so right here... We need to, I guess, pill it all the way up. Temporarily. And this is gonna suck removing this. Yeah, look, you're gonna see just how brilliant this is with only two layers real quick. Once I get up to the top... It's gonna be pretty, uh, pretty packed down there. Glass? Oh man, I'm out of glass this close to the top? You gotta be pooping on me. Oh well. Let's get down there. We'll just take another stack of glass. We're also... Oh, we already have the trap doors and the eggs, so... Okay. Beautiful. So now, This is a bit tricky, but I can do it. Uh, 
We'll, we'll get there eventually, boys. I wouldn't say tricky, just tedious. Ooh, wait, I found, I found, I found the G spot. <laughs> we got it. I found where to hold my mouse and it worked. Oh wait, whoops. Oh no, I missed one there. Don't say that. Okay, fine. G stands for good, right? Found the good spot to click. Boink. Yeah, I was saying? I don't remember what I was saying. You guys think I remember anything that I'm talking about? Oh, that's the music. I thought... Hi, new here. <laughs> I'm dad. True. Oh, one of my uh, best friends uh, had a baby yesterday. Also a girl. Uh, too bad he moved away to a different state. Or else my daughter would have a friend. But he currently lives very far away. You're a Twitch streamer. No Twitch streamer ever remembers. I, 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 re I forgot remembering well before I was a Twitch streamer. Dad, when are you coming home? <laughs> Did you get your cigarettes yet? Been at the gas station since 1998. To come home eventually. Man, I keep forgetting to double click. Okay, we're in the. There we go. Dinner. Ooh, what's for dinner? Hope it's something good. Hope you saved me some. Um, oh, next is the eggs, right? Oh, God. How am I going to do the eggs? Okay, so we have an egg. Oh, perfect, beautiful, amazingness landing right there. One ninety seven, is that right? Thought it was one ninety eight, but Oh, standing on top of the egg. Yeah, we're at 197 even. Okay. So then egg goes here. This may be a bad idea, actually. They may get aggroed. It... Hmm. I'm super positive whoever is in charge of Twitch now is the group in charge of EAS RB. Okay, I think we're gonna have to dig... We're gonna have to, like, dig this down to be able to do this, I guess. Um... Are they gonna get aggro at that egg? Yeah, they are. Look at them. Look at how beautifully it works. Oh, shit. The baby was able to get through and break the egg. That son of a bitch. <laughs> Good thing we brought extra eggs. Um, okay. Well, I'm just trying to get it working right now. Uh. 
Okay, no more of that. And they all just all go down there. And right now, they're falling uh, to their death. Wait, that shouldn't be killing them. Oh, wait, I think they fall on honey blocks. I think they fall on... They're supposed to fall on honey blocks. Or something like that. Who knows? Um... Okay, we're gonna need to dig this down to the center or something. Whee! I remember having to do something like this last uh, last time, where like I built it and then had to like tear it down again to be able to place the stuff in the center. Cause it was just so tedious. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna actually tear down both of these columns. Because that center one I only put there to be able to place the trap doors on. And this side one I need to access to be able to place the uh, eggs in there. Oh, welcome in, Julian. How you doing? It was you that said that. You were the same color as Serving, and he was asking questions about the farm earlier, I think. But how you've been? How are your projects going? Gotta go to school, have a nice stream. I will have a great stream. Have a have a good day in school, man. The executive team for the ESRB. It's a bunch of lizards wearing human suits. Ooh. Uh what are who's the ESRB again? Is that the people who rate like video games and stuff? Viking with a rate of 19. How are you doing? Raid, yes. Welcome in, raiders. We're building the gold farm. A big, grindy, giant gold farm. You're doing wonderful. That's good to hear. It's, uh, it's very good to hear. Come on, come on. Let me just... Uh, I have, I have a, a world download open in, in the other window as well. And it's like... Going back and forth to make sure I build it right. So this one's at 203. Massive raid, or massive hearts for the raiders, for the raiders. Uh, welcome in everyone. How did you enjoy Viking stream? Can we get some, some love in the chat for Viking? Uh, that beautiful man raids us all the time. Build a subway map of the Pleasant Craft nether tunnel system. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds pretty sweet, man. I'm a planning on doing a map of my, like, island eventually. Uh, that'll be a real cool moment. Yeah, shout out. Thank you, Zopa. It was a lot of fun. And then got sidetracked talking about Twitch advice. Uh, that happens all the time. Even to me, and I don't feel like I'm qualified to answer it. <laughs> what? Next one is 209. So 203 to 209. Okay, so that's what? Um, if we're at 203 right now, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Wait, I didn't, I counted wrong. Crap. That's six, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's six. Okay. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you get sidetracked talking about, oh yeah. If you were Australian, you would be a bit more qualified. Zopa, get out. I'm pretty hungry, so I shall be food time. You'll be lurking. Appreciate it. Two, three, four, five, six. F's in the chat. <laughs> How you doing? Blue Maloon? Blue Melon? 
<laughs> I can't. I can't talk. One, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder. I wonder. I imagine. I will be able to build this whole uh, upper part of the farm today, at least. Being says I just need to do the platforms now. And we already have our look. They're spawning in. They're they're falling down. And it won't be a problem anymore now that I got these parts in. I hope I didn't butcher your name too bad. Or at least not bad enough for you to leave. Eh, you, you don't got to stick around if you don't want to. But we do massive builds around here, all the new peoples that came with the raid. Uh, and this this design, while not my own, is Nembombs. And it is the most massive, uh, uh, what is it, gold farm you can build. He did a video, it's like 90,000 something drops per hour is the final version. And after spawn proof in the nether underneath and stuff like that, we're going to do it all. Uh, we're also working on the HCMC 100 challenge where I need to get all the advancements in the game in hardcore without dying. And I set a goal of myself to beat it by February 28th. I think we're very much on track for that. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're just powering through things. We need this gold farm to produce uh, quite a few things in our world that uh, not only lead to advancements, but also just lead to having a nicer world in general. I've never <laughs> blue balloon. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, I got a unique way of mispronouncing names. I'll, I'll say that much. I think everyone on I think everyone on Twitch has their own way of butchering people's names, and I love it. I think people make names that are not just like you know a single syllable. Uh, if you're making a name that's not just like a single syllable, you're asking for your name to be butchered. And I love hearing how people say my name. People call me colon, people call me colonel, people call me colonel, which is how it's supposed to be pronounced, even though it's not spelled that way. Uh, it, it, it's great. It's, it's the streamer's curse. It's the trying to get something done, but also having to read something, right? Read a word you've never seen before. Read a word you have you've never seen before. Like, I've never, I'll be honest, the, the second part of your name, I've never seen that before written out. And like, Zopa, uh, I don't know what I would have said if I hadn't heard Bams uh, saying his name uh, for doing bit donos over there first. You're epic like that. Beautiful. The more epic people here, the better. Blue melon. Oh, really? I'm out. Whee. So I was gonna have like a little platform here, but I don't think I'm gonna anymore. I think we're gonna just have this staircase or whatever go straight up to the platform because of how. <laughs> hey, look, we just got deaths. You're unique. You're. We're all unique in our own way. Some of us are so unique, we're not unique anymore. How does that make sense? Don't ask me. I don't make the rules. Um, Alright, I think we brought enough red glass, guys. Uh, what am I looking for? Rockets. Oh my god, I don't have any more rockets. This farm is literally... In entirely me flying up and down and I'm out of rockets. I guess we're just gonna bring all of these shulkers with us. Oh, that was that was a dumb idea. Okay. No worries, take your time. We'll be here. We'll be here until 2 a.m. Eastern. Actually, you kind of do because you're the colonel. Oh, I make the rules here? True. Everyone, 50 push-ups. Drop and give me 50. <laughs> Can't even do 30 myself, but we won't talk about that. I actually feel really accomplished that I've done 30 streams on the last... 30 push-ups on the last two streams. Uh, I, I woke up and flexed in the mirror this morning. Just waiting for someone to challenge me. See if I can do pull it off again. God. It's 
my, it's my huge muscles. I lost my fidelity. I can't click right anymore. That's it. Oh, God damn it. Could you add wall sits and planks to the workout list? I don't have a wall to sit on. Um, and I'm not a construction worker. I think I have random two by fours laying around here. Okay, I, I do have a couple two by fours, but I don't see how that'll help anything. I don't see how that'll help anything. Do I bench press the two by fours? You know what I mean? Uh, I, I legit have no idea what you mean by wall sits. Is that like the thing you would do as a kid, right? Where you're like sitting on an invisible bench? <laughs> Is that a workout? I know it was tiring. That is what that is. That that was that was an off the cuff guess. I I had no idea. Um, I, just up against this wall. Maria, how you doing? Maria, God, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's two names in a row. Butchered them real bad. <laughs> it just it just comes with the territory. <laughs> After two minutes, your legs start to burn. Oh wait, so it's just a timed thing, like. Oh my god, we could do a prediction of a wall sit, like, plus or minus two minutes or something like that. But, I mean, that's way more of a time sink than it is for, uh, that for push-ups, right? Because push-ups, I'll get tired in, like, about a minute. Like, I get 30 of them done. That's less than a minute. What's the uh, what's the best uh, what's the best thing to do to burn belly fat? That's what I need. That's what I need redeemed. <laughs> and with an extra 90, 90 pounds on your lap, it hurts even worse. Oh my god. Um, I already got an extra ninety pounds on my lap. <laughs> not it's not quite ninety. I don't think. I don't do much working out though. My redemption's on stream for push up. I, I think I I think I wanna like before I branch into into new workouts for redemptions, you know, I wanna perfect the push up, right? I wanna get to where I can do like fifty in a set in a session or something. And then I would like entertain doing more things. Honestly, I feel like because we've had a bit more consistency on having that redeemed, like once a stream for the past week, you know, I, I did like probably 20 the first time, then like two 25s in a row. I think I then had a 26 and now I've had two 30s in a row. Like, I feel like I'll get to, if, if I keep getting like one redemption a stream, I'll probably be to 50 in like two weeks, two or three weeks, who knows. Unless my arms just give out and I'm dead. Honestly, anything helps burn body fat. My dad lost 30 pounds over the summer going on runs, bike rides, and working out at the gym a few times a week. Yeah. Dude, I was, uh, I was getting, uh, I, okay, right before COVID, I, I'm pretty sure I stopped, like, at the, at the beginning of the winter last year, right? But I was getting into a rhythm where every other day before work, I was going to the gym. Because of my work, my employer has a, uh, uh, a gym in house so I was just going in at like an hour or a little more than an hour before my shift doing an hour-long workout and then taking a shower and then starting work but it was really hard to keep up with that because I was working like 7 a.m. sometimes so I was getting there like before 6 a.m. don't forget to do the bamboo farm Oh shoot, you're right. I do need sugarcane. And you did redeem those. Um 
I guess I need more rockets anyway. Do you want me to get those done right now? Or you think you want me to, to do a little more building and then go and do them? Don't matter to me. Either way, I do need to take the trip back because we're going to run out of rockets real soon. Come on. It's like really warm in my office today. Not good. Face is feeling warm. Face looks a little red, honestly. I'm blushing. Oh, crap. You could save them for Wednesday, and I'll redeem again, and you can do 60. Ah, uh, no, 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 that's not happening. It's not happening. If I don't do your push-up redemption within this stream, I will refund it after stream. That's how it goes. If I there's been one other time where I missed the push-up redemption. Like I I was in the middle of something, got the push-up redemption, totally forgot about it, and no one bring it up until the end of the one. I just refunded it after stream when I noticed. Or it was it was before the stream, the next before the next stream. I, I, I was looking in the dashboard at my analytics. And saw a pending request, and I was like, oops, refund those points. Royalties was, pro it was probably royalties, and he was probably just like, why do I have an extra thousand points again? Or he didn't, re didn't even notice, and he just redeemed it again straight away next time he showed up. Oh, God. How many of these layers are there, man? Hmm. Can we go for some ice cream right about now? Oops, that's wrong. I have no idea if I have enough of this, by the way. We may be a little short, especially if I'm letting stuff fall to the ground. Oops, that's wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am going to go get a water before I do the push-ups, so yeah, when I go, it's, it's all wrong. So once I get back to the overworld, yeah, I'll just go grab a water, do the push-ups, all while standing at the uh, bamboo farm. What was that noise? It was directional, so it was in-game. I've never heard that before. What up, peeps? How you doing, Linksy? How was the stream? I was lurking. Did you ever get your circle figured out? This man, uh, shout out to, to Linksy. He can build a mean circle. I say mean because it doesn't listen and it doesn't become circular. I think. Maybe he figured out the bugs. A few little bugs. He hates circles. Dude, build uh, weird ovals like I do, and you'll be good. So, you'll be glad to know that I've built this entire thing you see so far, today only, and uh, we're making huge progress. Making huge progress here, building this gold farm. Yep, we're gonna. My goal is to. My goal was to finish this entire top section, but we're nearly. Uh, we're three quarters of the way done with the spawning platform top section. Uh, an hour and a half into the stream, so I say three quarters because we're about a quarter of the way up with the platforms, 
But we already built like this thing in the center that has the eggs and all of these other blocks. And it goes all the way down to the floor where they land on. So I'm going to say th we're at least two thirds, probably three quarters of the way done with the top section. I'm imagining uh, I'm going to be. Oh, shoot. I should probably pause this other game. There we go. But how did it, uh, what, so you're building a guardian farm there? Is that it? Was that it? There's so many farm designs in chat. You're gonna just build a, a you're gonna farm everything in that circle. Yeah, guardian farm. All right, well, that's all I have in my inventory. Did I? Oh my God, did I just lose a shulker box, guys? I just lost a shulker box full of items. Oh my god. It's not in my inventory. I broke two of them and only picked up one. An entire shulker box full of magma blocks despawned. What? I must have... I didn't place it down up here anywhere, did I? My inventory must have been full with magma blocks or something. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go get more now. Oh, look at these guys. Are they mad? Oh well. That baby's never gonna despawn now. We're gonna have to go mine. Oh, yep. I forgot. I forgot they get pissed. I needed to get down there. Okay, despawned. <sighs> we have to go back to the world, get more rockets anyway. But now. Whoa! <laughs> I did not mean to land in the hole. Oh, I'm out of. I'm out of Dr. Pepper. I need, do need to go get a water. That was some that was some precise flying. Precision. Fancy flying. Went straight down the ladder hole. Took not a single heart of damage. Oh man. I can't wait until this is a blue ice path. And how fast I'll be going down it. You think you got paid out three days early? Uh, yeah, it's because uh, the 15th. Oh, it was a Tuesday. Yeah, I don't know why. But the payout did happen uh, either yesterday or today, I believe. If you're talking about the Twitch payout. Look at all this over damage. You got paid on the 12th? Congrats. Oh my god. I almost just ran straight into these guys because I wasn't really looking. How many of these guys could there possibly be in one place? <gasps> okay, we're not going to hit these guys anymore. Big boys just get shot. I should probably eat, though. Ah, oh, come on, guys. I didn't know the little ones still hit. Oh, my God.
Okay, we're through. We fought through the treacherous <laughs> biome. I can't wait till that's spawn proofed, honestly. But we can't spawn proof it until we uh, have the gold farm done, because we're going to be spawn proofing it by putting blackstone slabs on top of blue ice. I need to wait. I need to double check. Do do boats get their speed effect of ice through a half slab? I know you do, like your feet do when you're walking over it. But do boats get their effect? Does anyone know that for sure? I've assumed this whole time they do because when you're walking, when you're walking over slabs that have ice beneath, they go faster. I think they do. You don't think so? But if you put a button, I know, but I didn't want a a, a solid ice floor with uh, with buttons. I didn't I didn't want the ice visible at all. That's a great question. It is truly because I've been counting on it this whole time. Because that's like what my design has planned for it. If that's not the case, I'll go the button route, but... I could go even more expensive. I could just like cover it in redstone. What's wrong with ice tunnels? Um, I want my tunnel uh, to be unique. Something's wrong with having an ice tunnel. I just... That hasn't been my vision this season. I had visible ice last season and it killed me. I don't want to be reminded. Oh, I think that's why you did the monkey face, because you, you know that. Oh, my butt hurts. Sorry. Sorry. How Canadian of you. Zopa, uh, when I get to the uh, sugarcane farm and I run upstairs to do a, a to get my water, do like a two minute um, start a two minute prediction. Uh, over or under 30. So like 29 and less and 30 or more. So I was eating nachos. It's left over something I can't pronounce. It sounds good. I took a bite of a fat onion. Now I can't stand the flavor of onion. It's fine with other stuff, but the bite was terrible. So yeah, useless fact about my dinner. Qdoba? Oh, I didn't even like bother trying to pronounce it. But Qdoba, that sounds like something. Um, wait, well, you took it like a bite of a raw onion like I did? I gotta say, it was good. What? Nope. All right. We're gonna let that, uh, let that go. Let that AFK. Go to the BRB screen. Oh. Zopa, you got the prediction? Or you need me to start it? I don't know how to start one. Start one. No, it was a massive piece of onion. Gotcha. Uh. Twenty nine or less, thirty or more. Do two minute submission period. Okay, guys, you ready? Um, starting this prediction now. Vote. I've done two streams in a row of 
being able to do 30. Um, then again, my arms may be tired. And I was holding my daughter for like 40 minutes straight before straight. So who knows? Make sure you vote. Go all in. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. It's all or nothing. That's your points. How did it end? I don't see it no more. Ah, oh, shit. Everyone voted no. Or 30 or more, I mean. You guys got to vote opposite sides to, to, to win anything. Now you're just basically going to get your points refunded. Oh no, yeah. Well, if I don't get, if I get 29 or less, um, you guys are just getting ripped out of your points. I thought that was... You meant to hit 29. <laughs> uh, with, with everyone on one side, I probably will... Because I don't want those points to go into oblivion. I'm okay with giving it to someone, right? You know? Because, but there's, those are hard-earned points. And if I reward it to the yeses and there's no one to receive them, I don't know what happens. The points might just literally um, disappear. And I don't want that. Alright, floor cam. Okay. Uh, right. Hmm. How many push-ups can I do? Man, my knuckles didn't crack. What are we saying? This is for all my mental stability. If I lose this because of a simple mistake, <laughs> I'm I'm going to cry. All right, we'll see. <laughs> One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 
23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 10, 11, 11, 24, 24. Oh, thank you. But yes, nothing changes. Nothing changes. <gasps> Oh, God. All right. Mark those push-ups done. So I can scam Zopa at his points. And then... How do I mark this completioned? How do I do it? Choose outcome. 30 or more. Complete. Everyone get your points back. 0% return. Two point six K it says to me. <sighs> Why zero percent? Because nobody voted yes. You have to people have to put points in the yes for anything to come Yeah Yeah, if you guys if everyone votes the same way then uh there's no reward. That's why I, I said, like, if... If I got 29 or less and had to choose that, then, well, quite literally, your points would just go away. No one would be there to receive them. Just like there was no one there to receive your points if you lost. Oh. <sighs> Uh, he is a mods cannot participate. It's because he has the uh, ability to choose the outcome. So he can't, uh, he can't bet in it. If it was 50-50, yeah, I go as I go to as many push-ups as I can. I go to as many push-ups as I possibly can. Every time I try. I feel sick to my stomach. I don't know. I was really feeling it at like oh boy, at um around 27. I was feeling like, man, any push-up now, any one of these, it could be my last one. And then, uh, well, just powered through. She gets some Oreos. Ooh, I got some Oreos upstairs too. We also need to go farm some gunpowder right now. Oreos are great, man. We ordered the party size, you know, not the not the family size. We got the party size of double stuffed Oreos. It's about four servings of Oreos for me. Yeah, of normal or or wait you. I don't know. I only have ever saw the party size for like double stuff Oreos. I don't know.
With or without a fork? I thought you were gonna say milk, but I've never eaten an Oreo with a fork. What do you use the fork for that you can't do with your fingies? Look at how much sugar can we got though. We're rolling in the in the dough. A gold nap. Holy crap, Linksy. Congratulations on your redemption. I will be doing I will be redeeming it for you momentarily. Let me just get these guys uh let me let me get like a couple stacks of gunpowder. And then we'll uh, be on our way. What you do is stick the fork in the cream of the Oreo, then set it all the way in the milk. Then you let it sit and then take it out and eat it. Hmm. Doesn't sound bad. I figured it was for some sort of dipping it into the milk. But, uh, no. Okay, I... Uh... I like having the little bit of crunch in it, right, uh, of still, like, the part where your finger is. I still like having that, right? Like, if it's all soft, I don't think it's good. But, like, you know, having that much of it at the top where your fingers are holding still be a little crunchy. I feel like that's, that's a good uh, combination. That's just me, though. I want to get, like, at least three stacks of gunpowder. So the outside of the cookie is soft, but you get it just right. The inside of the cookie is crunchy. So, okay, I could see if you get it just right, but I don't... Yeah, I get it. I leave the cookie in there until the cookie is mushy. So, like, you know... Seven eighths of the cookie is mushy, where then the top part is crunchy. Leave it in for eleven. You count every every cookie. You count. Three voicemails today. You count every cookie. You have OCD, so you count every cookie. Yeah, no. I'm usually like watching a YouTube video or something while I'm eating Oreos, right? So really, I'm just, I I get the Oreo, put it in the cup and just hold it there and, until I'm done chewing the, and eating the last one and feel like, yeah, it's time for another Oreo. Then I pull it out and it's a mushy gooey mess and it's delicious. Davey, how you doing? We're just here getting some gunpowder. Working on our gold farm, but we're down to five rockets, so. So here we are. I 
I mean to be repairing my tools with each hit, but I'm not. Good, I just did 32 push-ups and my stomach feels a bit queasy. I... Probably because I ate dinner right before stream and then, you know, less than two hours into stream, I, uh... I do 32 push-ups. So it's good we're just chilling here. We're trying to get a couple stacks of gunpowder. Like I said, so... Bro. Bro, Plaz. What, I'm weak? Are you criticizing me on my weakness? Cause you'd be right too. How much gunpowder downstairs do we think? Um... I had a dream that you died in the nether. No cap. Uh, that is a bad- that is a, not a dream, that is a nightmare. Oh man. That is a night- Yeah, a nightmare, for sure. You just realized it's 16 seconds. Oh, you fake news, You're, you've been lying this whole time. I can smell the lie from a mile away. We just need like a stack more. Chat was laughing? Oh my god. No. No. I don't want to lose this world. I have great plans for this world. And like I've said a billion times and will continue to say, I'm a late game player. I hate the early game of Minecraft. I hate the first, I legit hate the first 10 streams in a world. That's the first 45 to 50 hours of a world. I hate it. <laughs> it was multiples of five plus one. Gotcha. Okay, uh, Plaz, you gotta, you gotta join in. What's the optimal amount of time to leave an Oreo in the milk? Then you said you purposely did it because you were doing a huge... <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Seven seconds, Links, he says. I mean, if Ashlyn wants to bring me down the pack of Oreos and a glass of milk, I'll prove you all... Prove you all what the correct time is. I hear her stomping upstairs. She probably heard me. She may be getting me Oreos and a glass of milk. Oh man. Something's not sitting well in my stomach today. I'm you may even say six. Six and seven. But serving, didn't you say it was sixteen? You said it was 16 seconds, now you're saying it's 6 or 7? The cookie is the best, I'll eat the cookie and not the frosting. Do you eat the cookie, like, raw, or do you dip it in milk? Raw? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the only word that came to mind, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you got a better word? You got a better word? If you don't dip it in milk, you're a savage. Raw, you don't have time to dip it. You just... Who's... <laughs> I do. Where should I build my new Minecraft base? Um... Um... I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say... Hold on. You're gonna want somewhere with nice bright green grass. You know, you don't want nowhere drab like a swamp, right? 
Um, but you know, you don't want like planes because that's too that, that that's that's you know that's too basic. You don't want planes, right? So I'm gonna go with maybe like no, the mace has got that drab grass. You don't want that. I'm gonna go with like oh maybe oh mycelium mycelium is really pretty grass. True. I have plans for a mycelium world, a uh, mycelium thing. Oh, don't build in a mesa, you said. I will slander you all. Yeah, bright, just like big sea and desert. Uh, true. I don't plan on building with grass. The whole point of my base is that it's gonna be custom biomes. That whole island uh, and, you know, the sub-islands like this one are all going to be transformed into custom biomes. Podzol. Yeah, maybe a big sand island. I hear that's all the rage. Did you see my rating on seven seconds? No, no, no. Seven seconds is not enough, Mushy the Crunchy. You wasted my cookie. <laughs> See what you did? You made him waste a cookie. If you don't die... Oh, God. No, there's no death in this world. Well... For me, at least. For all these mobs, they can get wrecked. Beautiful. We reached my goal of three stacks. All right. Okay, we got this much paper. So all flight duration threes. It's a little more flight duration threes. And the last bit of flight duration threes. Beautiful. Bro, you just screwed yourself. Knock on word, hurry. Too late. <laughs> no. I didn't know you could do that. Didn't know you could do what? I have no idea what I did that would generate that kind of uh, response. Oh, flight duration three? You didn't know about flight duration three? You've always used one. Well, I have to say flight duration three is what killed me in my last world, so you uh, use it uh, at your own discretion. Frostwalker. Forgot about that. Don't get cocky and fly into ice. True. Can't believe I lost a whole shulker box of magma blocks, though. Uh, duration one, gang? Nah, it's not worth it. I have been using a lot of duration to this world. Uh, mostly out of necessity because gunpowder takes so long to get. But also it's just been... Um, I think duration 2 might be where it's at, honestly. It's a good mix. Boink. Shit. Good morning, Sky. How you doing? Popped him. Come on. 
how many skeletons are gonna spawn here? Too many, that's how many. Oh, come on. Bum, 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 bum. Doing pretty good. Waiting for e school to start in two hours. E school, dang. Do you have to like sit with your camera on in Zoom all day long? Or like, is it just like you're given tasks and you have to complete them while I. Like, I really liked how online college went, but, like, I couldn't imagine, like, an online, like, high school or anything where, like, the teacher, like, is, you know, would normally hover over you to make sure you get your work done. I could not stand, uh, you know, having my camera on with a teacher, like, policing me all day long. Is e-school full of e-girls? Uh, of course. Of course. GTA gets its first map expansion. Good thing you don't have to keep the camera on. That's good to hear. Oh, man. <laughs> and yes. Oof. I wouldn't expect anything less. Last Oreo, you ate a whole pack already? Dang, man. Congrats. You really live in the dream. Do not eat the last Oreo. Oreo. Owie. Bring him half. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take half too. You have to give half of the last Oreo to everyone in stream. Pog in the chat if you're excited for your half an Oreo. No, last Oreo for the night. Gotta save some for tomorrow. True. I normally will eat like a, a, a part, a, you know, a, a column of Oreos, right? So a party size pack of Oreos gets four columns of Oreos in it. I will eat, you know, a single one of those columns in a day and then limit myself. And then, you know, I'll skip a couple days before I go and eat the next column. All these people excited for their Oreo. You better, uh, you better, uh, cough up some Oreos, man. Okay, maybe not cough them up, because, like, in terms of food, that's probably not that appetizing. The back would be gone in an hour with you. I gotta make them- I gotta- I gotta savor the Oreos, right? <laughs> Dude, you down the entire pack in a night. Oreos are a luxury in this house. I mean, we get a pack every- every two weeks for groceries. But, like, we get one back to last two weeks. Hmm. They're gonna start falling out of there? Probably not. Oh, God damn. I'm gonna have to go magma block mining again today. It's gonna suck. I did not want to have to do that again. I eat two bags of chips in a single evening. I think Oreos would be pretty much gone. Ah, damn it, I didn't quite make it up.
Beautiful landing. Perfect execution. I mean, if you guys pay for shipping and DM me your addresses, I'll send you half an Oreo. Half of the Oreo. You got PayPal? <laughs> yeah, he wants it same day delivered. Same day delivery. Halfway across the country. Sky, do they have a lot of Oreo flavored stuff over by you guys? I know like Milka has a, uh, a deal with uh, Oreos. But like other than that, I'm pretty sure Oreos like aren't that popular in Europe, right? USA. <laughs> Did you really expect someone else from, uh, what, Finland to show up or just be in the chat? I don't think I've ever seen Oreos over in, while I was in Europe, though. Like, I saw, like, the Oreo-flavored Milka, but that's it. Well, if you use FedEx, I don't think my half an Oreo will ever arrive. <laughs> True. Dude, okay, so... Right, I... I'm getting a package delivered, right? And it got, I got the notification that it or was like, you know, within my state, it was in a shipping center in like the center of my state, which is a couple hours away from where I am. And then uh, there's no activity on it for like three days. And it's like past the day when it should have been delivered. And then I get a notification that it arrived in a different state, it's at like a packing center in a different state. And then it's been a couple days since I heard that. So it's like, thanks FedEx. You know, you had it within a couple hour drive of me and then you take it like several hours away. Dude. Yeah, I, I haven't had to deal with, like, uh, you know, FedEx and UPS recently because Amazon has been cranking up their own, uh, you know, delivery service in my area for, like, the better part of t two years now, maybe. But it's really cranked up to just being strictly Amazon deliveries come through their Amazon, their Amazon unmarked vans and stuff like that. And... They've been really quick and all that stuff. And we do almost all of our ordering through Amazon just because we have Prime and whatnot. And it's usually pretty cheap. But then I had to order Ashlyn's stuff from a not Amazon site because she wanted things that were exclusive and whatnot. So now I'm dealing with just FedEx for the first time like all year. And oh my god, is it infuriating when you're waiting for that make sure it comes before christmas i had the package have the in my town and sent it to the capital on the other side of the state and then return back to my town to some two weeks late yeah i have a feeling this year like there's gonna be so many late packages Which is crazy, right? Because they've been they've been handling like packages really well, as far as I know. Um, especially with the whole USPS getting like shafted by the by their new leadership, um, even they were handling packages fairly well. 
you know? Um, but, God, I, I feel like there's going to be so much late for, for Christmas. Because I still have two pending packets that I have no idea if they're going to come before Christmas. Like, I paid for, like, I think it was five to seven day shipping, and it's been nearly, uh, it's been, I think it's been, like, ten or eleven days so far. And that's the one that was in my, uh, in my state and then left my state again. That was before COVID. And package bombers? Like, st like, um, like, like, stealing from your porch? Like, porch pirates? Luckily, I don't have that kind of issue in my neighborhood. We straight up can leave a package on our porch, like, for days, and it'll be fine. Which we've done before. Obviously, the expensive stuff, we know when it gets delivered, and we're making sure to keep a, keep an eye on it. But, like, like little Amazon packages, if the guy doesn't, like, trip the, the, the doorbell sensor, you know, we don't, hear, we don't even know it gets delivered, and it sits there out overnight and stuff. Dude, this is Pog? What's Pog? Finding out my delivery habits? Oh, you planning on stealing from me? God. She's like, oh, I just gotta figure out where he lives that I can steal his packages. If you would've stole my packages today, you would've got some cookies uh, and some diapers. Being able to leave something out and not worrying about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like straight up, we... It, it, it's perfectly fine. Guess you're gonna have to worry when you get there. True. I want to order a glitter bomb and see if anyone takes it. Yep. I've even, I, I've even, uh, you know, we live in a, in a nice community and stuff like that. Uh, and I've been the nice neighbor who's gotten someone else's package and like taken it over to their house. And then, and then there, I, I saw a Facebook post like the next day, or I didn't see it for a couple days. So I wasn't sure. I, I'm not for sure it was to me, but someone was like, oh my God, to the person who, uh, who brought my package to me after it was after I reported it missing to Amazon? Thank you so much. Blah blah blah. And I'm just like, what ifs? It was ripped open. It, it was ripped open. <laughs> so like I saw what was in it. It was just some candies <laughs> or something. Not some candy I wanted, obviously. So went and returned it. <laughs> But our mailman sucks, and that happens all the time. We still get mail from the people who lived here before us, and we've lived in this house for four years. I've lived in this house for over four years, and we still get mail for for the people that, you know, um, lived here before us. And obvious, and we get mail for our, our neighbor by our side, you know, like maybe two or three times a year. It, it, and I gotta go move that to their mailbox. It was ripped? Oh yeah, yeah. That happens sometimes too. Well, not really. I don't know why that one was ripped. Bruh. So we have like two front doors, right? One that's like a walk-in basement front door, uh, which we never use because like the, it's, it's not sealed right. And if you open it, like uh, it won't latch again. So we never use that one. And then we have like our main front door. And then like our mailman would always leave it at the other door that like we'd never open. So I put a sign up on that door saying, please leave at the real at the actual front door. And it took him like a month to like do that consistently. But now they do. Don't mailman keep up with the times. True. FedEx probably did ship it, who knows, but I'm out. I'm a whole shulker box short because I lost the shulker box. 
Big rip. We gotta go fill up another Shulky box. If I let them up, will they go after those gold nuggets? Uh, okay, we're gonna go fill up this whole shulker box though, like no cap. Um, all right, we gotta go mining this shit again. Oh god, those guys are pissed at me because I opened that box, aren't they? But they're all uh, not in here. Can I order a pizza for Christmas? Oh, can you order me a pizza for Christmas? What's the closest pizza place to me? Yeah, not gonna happen. Sorry. If you want to get me a Christmas present, uh, I'm gonna say the best way to do that is either gifted subs or bits. <laughs> Cause uh, and I, I'm like no cap. Like uh, I can afford. My mindset is I can afford dinner, but I can't afford things to make the stream better. Right? If you're gonna, if you want to help me out, help help me out through the, through Twitch that way, and I that money will all go towards making the stream better. That that's my mindset. That all my Twitch funds just go towards Twitch or uh, stream upgrades. So what was it for uh in like october someone wanted to uh, set up to like order ashen and i a, a, a dinner for a date or something like that and i was like oh we did it oh guy i don't know who was here i think it was zopa was there during the time uh maybe it was plaz too i don't quite remember but we did end up buying like a red lobster dinner on my birthday using that gift card that i talked about having it was pretty good it's pretty good yeah, I'd rather wrap a pizza and put it under your tree. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I you know, I come upstairs after work. No, I don't I won't work on Christmas. I'll we'll wake up in the morning and like, you know, wow, it smells really good in here. Watch Christmas tree smell like you know, pizza. <laughs> Oh my god. You know, you, not your normal, like, you know, uh, peppermint or whatever, or like pine smell that you'd have on Christmas. Nope, it's just straight up a pepperoni pizza. Oh my god, so many of these things, and they're so dangerous, too. I'm not hitting them! Oh my god, slimes. Getting my, all my XP levels back up though. Pepperoni. Yeah, we had a we had a pepperoni di giorno pizza today. Apparently there is like an app though for streamers or, or something like that. Where um you know, I can like put in my delivery address and then people can you know, pay for food 
and then get it delivered to me without ever, you know, like seeing the order or seeing like where it uh, gets delivered to and stuff. Someone was telling me about. I mean, if there was like a ton of interest from several people that they specifically wanted to do that, maybe I would set it up. But that's not really something I'm too interested in, really. Honestly, I'd want food delivered to me. Sounds kind of pug. Well, like, what am I gonna do? Like, am I gonna am I gonna get it delivered to me on stream and then just like take a break and uh, eat? Uh, someone orders ten Happy Meals. True. I mean, that wouldn't even be bad, really. The thing is, though, you would have to do like uh, chain places. To not like dox yourself with that, like if there's like a local restaurant, you know, that you would would uh, would have ordered from, like if it's like just a single like, you know, there's only one of these. Uh, <laughs> well, they give a special request for you to eat them all on stream. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, that would be like, uh, pro I could probably, I don't remember exactly how big a, a Happy Meal is, to be honest. You know, I'm gonna say, right, uh, I could, I'm, I could probably eat, like, three Happy Meals on stream. And then be like, mm, I'm, tap out, I'm done. Then, you know, I'd have a Happy Meal for breakfast the next day. Maybe two Happy Meals for lunch, and then, you know, we'll go big again, three Happy Meals for dinner, and then I'm through it all. Pathetic. People would order you nasty food at some point. Someone might get a pickle and zucchini whole wheat pizza with sauce and cheese. Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound too appetizing. Oh, wait, I can turn these into that? Oh, yeah. Well, it's already 11 for our collection. Look at my phone. Oh, what's... Hold on, guys. I'll be right back.
I'm going him back. Bippity boppity, the stream is our property. Beautiful. <laughs> oh boy, what are you doing? Oh no. Oh no, what's happening? Appreciate everyone for sticking around. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Toss this. I gotta take my phone off silent. You have rebelled. Yeah, I saw some messages about that, but oh my god, you guys were chatting up a storm. Where was I go? What was I doing? Does anyone remember? Yeah, I need more magma blocks. Oh, I need so many more magma blocks. We own the stream now. Oh, what are you gonna do as the new owners of the stream? You know, I got, you know, at, if there's new ownership, but you know, I got a couple complaints. You got some bills piling up. Uh, you know, uh, we got some finances that need taken care of. Look what happened after I left. I don't, I, I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> uh, we need to plot our plan. This, this can be our stream. When he returns, we need... <laughs> You misspelled bippity. Uh, don't scroll up. Don't worry, just having a stroke. Oh my god, all all kinds of strokes were had on this. <laughs> oh man. Alright, let's go find some more magma blocks. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, and the, if as the new owners, you know, I really got a couple complaints around here, you know. We got to we got to increase our clickability somehow, you know. I hear those metrics are important. I don't think we planned this all the way through. <laughs> you had a lot of fun though. That's good. That's good. That's all that matters. Ah! <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> uh, well, that makes three of us. What should we do? I don't know. You're the owners now, apparently. All right. Oh yeah, I don't burn my feet on these anymore. Oh. You might want to look into more affordable plans. <laughs> more affordable plans, like subscription plans? Like you want to lower the price of the subs? I don't know if that'll help. I say up them. Plan starting at fifty dollars a month. I feel like that's what really, that's what that's what the Twitch community is looking for. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks. Had a, had a slight intermission there, unplanned. Ooh, there's a gold block. How could we get this stream more entertaining? I feel like it needs more cowbell. That's always something that's lacking on streams. Football, how you doing? Literally nothing worth value. I'll take some obsidian though. Um, is it going to be worth mining this? No, these aren't even big pockets, are they? No, this is just surface stuff because of the portal. I mean, we'll take it though. Oh, I almost did not get that on my... I think removing old kernel is better to get rid of. You want to get rid of the old kernel? Oh man, what's the new kernel like? Does he have like liberty spikes in his hair? Is that is that like what the new kernel has? You know, he takes his hair and just liberty spikes the whole way back. <laughs> 
We gotta finish watching the Ravens game a few minutes ago. What are we up to tonight? We're building the gold farm, but we accidentally deleted a shulker box that had an entire shulker box full of uh, of magma blocks. So we gotta remine those. We've not chosen the new colonel yet. Okay. Well, my suggestion is he should have liberty spikes. Oh my god, I'm not finding any of this stuff anywhere. Yeah, we uh, we picked it up, but then uh, we must have had a full inventory, and it, uh, it despawned, and then, yeah. Look at those blazes, holy crap. Liberty spikes are a must, okay. You know, I've been saying whenever I cut my hair like short, short, right? I'm gonna do something crazy with it, like before I get it all cut off. I just don't know what it is. Liberty spikes, like, you know, like eight inch Liberty spikes is like high on the list of things, you know, just a quack ton of gel. Maybe even like pink gel or something. What do we think? This guy's a little dumb, so he might need someone with an English degree. <laughs> uh. I don't know when I would be... I, I, I keep saying, like, I want my hair to be, like, shorter. But like, uh, I then I also like have no plans to ever get a haircut. So like, there's that. Dude, I could never like, you know how Bam's just on a whims, on a whims. Like, yeah, I'm gonna do a mohawk. I could never like chop my hair off that easily. But then again, he doesn't have hair. As, as long as mine, so it's not that big of a thing, you know? We also need to get someone that could join a popular group. From there, you can grow- uh, Like, uh, like, how popular are we talking? Are we talking, like, uh, dream level popular group? Or, like, hermitcraft level popular group? So I'm sure anyone who could get on those servers is already more popular than I may ever be. <laughs> Oh, okay, look this this one's done. This one's done. <laughs> Dream SMB. Or are we talking like uh like like pleasant craft popular? Like that maybe I could maybe get on a server of that level one day. But like I don't know, I like hardcore, not really SMPs, right? How did I not think of this before? <laughs> We're talking like offline TV size group. Offline TV. What do you mean by that? Is that a group? Is is that a name of a group? I don't know. I don't know of any group called offline TV. My the perfect size group for me. I've never heard of them. <laughs> I've never heard. Most people never heard of them. That's the size for me. <laughs> Disguised Toast Lil Pikachu. I feel like I've heard the name Disguised Toast before. But only heard the name. Never, uh... Heard or seen him. Excuse me, sir. We were trying to have an adult conversation and I'm interrupting. Oh, my bad. My bad. Oh my god, those guys could have got real mad at me real quick. You guys want to be the managers? Uh, you, you, you guys want to you guys want to reach out to these new contacts that you're looking for? See what we can do. <laughs> is that a bastion? It is. Is this a bastion we've already done? It probably is. Oh, it was just flew into lava. Uh, yeah, this looks super familiar. 
just end the stream and talk more of a Discord. Oh man, I just go offline midstream. Oof. <laughs> chop chop I'm fired oof big oof it's the biggest damn fire from my own street I know football I know, I take a, what, a 10, 15 minute intermission, and I find out that new people own my channel, and, and they want to fix it, and the main problem with, and the main way to fix it is by removing me. So, I mean, here we are. You know, that, that may be, that may be the case, right? Like, if, uh... Obviously, the reason this channel is not bigger is because I'm the one streaming on it, not some super famous guy. So if new owners are taken over, they will obviously want to put some super famous guy on this channel. That's that that. Oh, shit. That's not a good place. <laughs> Who is Lily? Um. I need to get more magma blocks, but from where? Right here. I missed a lot tonight. <laughs> Hashtag mutiny. Yeah, it looks like you're not part of it, man. Looks like you're not part of it. I mean, unless they unless they want to let you buy in, but I, I don't know. They might not be looking to share. Ooh, that looks like a whole lot to me. Can I get over to that? <laughs> Can't keep it up anymore? Uh, hey, Kyrian, how you doing? We can always sell for 2x the price you bought it for. I don't think that's the case. If you could always sell your investments for 2x the price, I, uh, I think literally that would be like infinite money and um, obviously people don't have infinite money so yeah <laughs> zero times two is still zero okay true 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 you guys can double your money I'll allow it I'll allow it. Triple, take it or leave it. Oh, now you're pushing your luck, man. How do you feel about purchasing the stream back? Oh, uh, you know, uh, it's not that big of a deal to me. I'll just start again. It'll only take another uh, another seven years to get up to this level. It'll be fine. We'll recover. We've done some simple renovations. We painted the bathrooms, you know, put new countertops on. I, I, I see. I'm confused. Mutiny is what's happening. Um, apparently, uh, I took, I took like a 10, 15 minute intermission and I came back to find out that Zesty and uh, Sky both now own the stream. Um, that, so that big news. Well, you have access to, well, you have access to your stream again. <laughs> we walked into a mutiny tonight. Yep. And, uh, and they immediately wanted to hand it back to me when I started, you know, asking for better working uh, conditions and stuff like that. And uh, told them we had some bills stacking up, then they didn't want it no more. I mean, when you own the business, you gotta, you gotta do it all. 
You know? Yar, mutiny. Yar. You might be walking the plank tonight, you scurvy dogs. Ye, be, ye might be finding yourself in Davy Jones' locker. Not zesty? Wait, now I'm confused. Oh my god, serving! <laughs> serving a <in> sky! <laughs> you said zesty! Your name is the same color as zesty's, I am sorry. <laughs> I knew it was you, I just said zesty out of habit. I don't know. <laughs> now, now he's actually gonna, you know, come after me. Hey, I'm here. Wait, you're here, but you missed out on owning the stream? That's an epic fail. You, never mind, Zesty. You're, 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 it's not even the same. For you, maybe. For me, they're the same color. Oh, no. Not really. Not really. You know what? I don't need to, I don't need to explain myself to you people. <gasps> Ooh. Saw a flash of lava there. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, okay. You let down your previous boss. Uh, you, you, you wouldn't be the first or the last boss that I'll ever let down. I'll tell you that first. I'll tell you that right now. And strictly speaking, I really don't care about the opinions of bosses. <laughs> as long as the paychecks keep flowing in, I don't care what you think of me. <laughs> How many more of these can I risk taking out before the lava starts pooling in? Okay, that's as far as it goes. Alright, we're leaving the rest. Paychecks won't flow if in if you're hated. I mean the thing is they can they can hate me, but if I get the job done, uh they're not gonna do anything about it. They so can hate me, think I'm a think I'm a asshole to work with and I cause and I'm not that nice and whatnot, but if I get the job done, they don't care. People hate you enough, they could pay you to go away. <laughs> that would be nice. That happened to someone uh, when COVID happens uh, at my employer, I believe. I mean, obviously nothing official about where, but you know, but like they had to furlough a bunch of people. I, sadly, they decided to keep me on. Um, but, you know, there was people that they just wa didn't, you know, had been with the company for a long time that they just like didn't like. So they were the first people to get uh, furloughed. But obviously they got like a pension and, or not pension. Uh, uh, yeah, it, or what is it called when they give you a severance? They gave them a severance package. And I know uh, one of them went, has gone like only, like they got furloughed back in February or something. And, or March maybe. And they just now got a new job and were living comfortably off of their uh, uh, severance package up until now. So like, it's probably like six months of money. Sounds to me like. But they were like, 
Yeah, so this is our, like, skeleton crew. We couldn't go possibly less, so everyone who's still here, congratulations. Your job is, like, guaranteed. Alright, I just need, like, another stack and some. Uh, is there anything around here I could get? Oh, yeah, right here, literally. Do you guys know the Muffin Man? Oh, the smell of static electricity. A little different. A little different. Um, I, I, I can, mm, I don't know the smell of static electricity. I, when I think of like electricity smell, I think of like, you know, uh, burning electricity. I don't know if that's the same. Why? Do you smell static electricity? Yeah, yeah, the, the same one. Thank goodness the gravel is stable. Oh shit, I didn't even think of that. I mean, I have a totem which would give me fire resist for 40 seconds, you know, once I was in the lava and it killed me. But I also have fire protection boots on, so like, I think we'd be, we, I think we would have been fine, but it would have been a scare for sure. No, never trust gravel in the nether. True. Okay, uh, anyone remember the way back? We're actually really close. Um, I think it's this way. We did want to pop a totem. Oh, I'm not popping the totem, like, in lava or nether. It's going to have to be a natural poppage for me to be happy about it. Um, oh, we're heading the wrong ass way. So it's basically, like, straight this way. Okay, we landed that so he didn't fly into something. Um, okay. And if it's straight this way... This way, maybe? No, that's a fortress. Jesus Christ. Okay. I thought that was just not loading. Uh, but no, that was the wall of a fortress. Okay, what are my coordinates? Uh, yeah, but the, the last, the last, there's, there's two, or there, there's many scenarios that I specifically don't want. I don't want to pop a totem while flying. I don't want to pop a totem from lava. And I don't want to pop a totem from, like, a horde of mobs. But, like... I don't know. Oh, now what's next? I need to find the coordinates. Yeah, I basically need to get to, like, zero, zero, guys. What, how, what's the quickest way to zero, zero? Uh, oh, yeah, there is a way to fly out this way. this way a bunch ah here we are there's the portal hold on one second you saw an oh my god what's happening in the chat I've had this multi-tool that has been closed in my drawer a multi-tool like what like a Swiss army knife Now it's perfect. Basically, yes. That's sweet. 
Oof. I think I ate something that's not sitting right with my stomach. Look at Colonel Bot just out there repping the Discord like he does. That's all he cares about. We go left. Got him. Where is the bet at? We already did our uh, prediction for the day, if that's what you're asking. Should have fired Colonel Bot where you were in charge. Ooh. You wanna you wanna vibes bot? Wait, why'd we come here again? We should have went straight to the other uh, to the actual project. Whoops. Oh well. I guess we'll clean up the inventory a little bit. Alright, well that's all we have to do here. Let's head back. I feel like really weird right now wearing uh, a gold helmet, wings, and then netherite pants and diamond boots. I feel like this is a really weird uh, get up. Because I needed to make Frostwalker boots, right? And uh, I didn't have any netherite, so they just had to stay diamond for now. It's a bold fashion statement. You can always make the fine frostbite netherbite netherite. True, I can, but that involves getting more netherite. Right now I have two ancient debris, and honestly, I probably would uh, do the boots uh, first, right? Like if I got, um, if I got the, uh, Yeah, if I did get another two pieces of uh, whatever, the first thing I would do is the boots. She fell into an armory. Yeah, I feel like I'm in like the early stages of like a uh, uh, of like uh, a random like a uh, game where you pick up armor. You know, like uh, like what Fallout? No, Fallout doesn't really have that kind of thing. Where. I don't, I don't remember. It's been years since I played Fallout. God, I loved Fallout 4, though. Who here loved Fallout 4? And who was here really let down by 76? I'm so upset by 76. I was so excited for the potential of a multiplayer Fallout game. And, you know, I told Ashlyn I, I wanted it. And she got me it for Christmas and stuff. And then the game tanked. And, like, no one played it. And... I don't know. And I'm. Four was okay. It was. I loved four, dude. All right. I never. I never played another Fallout all the way through before, and I. I, I did love four. I did love four. Yeah. Everyone was sure it was gonna be bad, right? 
Um, but I was like, nah, man, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna come out, it's gonna be buggy, or it's not gonna, you know, be exactly what people want, but it's a Fallout game, and it's gonna end up delivering, and people are gonna like it. And then, like, legit, like, it launched, it was just as bad as everyone wanted, and they kept releasing updates, and no one joined. No, no one, no one bought it, that hadn't already bought it at launch, and... No one went back to it after the after the the first impressions. I feel like they had a they missed a huge opportunity there. I would have put hundreds, if not a thousand, hours into that game. Um, I would have bought a second copy for Ashlyn. We would have played together. Yeah, they made some real questionable directions. Like the not having any like storyline really killed it for me. Like, that's, like, I got on and I did play a couple, like, uh, double-digit hours of it, right? Because, obviously, it was bought for me and I was not going to waste the money. Only a cosmetic for money that lasted, what, three to four months before just yeeting everything? Yeah, I don't know. I was so excited for it to be good, too. Oh boy, look at this view. <laughs> look at all these things. Um, let you buy some skins that can increase your health a little. Hold on one second. Um, then repair kits, then the subscription thing. Is there a way? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't really pay attention much after I decided that, you know, without uh, much to do by myself, it doesn't, you know. And without a reason to want to buy it, without a reason for my friends to want to buy it, and nothing to do by myself, I, the game's kind of like dead at that point, right? Um, is there a way to tell how many hours you've spent in MC? Yeah, so, well, you can see your days, which is 692, or you can go to your statistics, and you can see your time played is 6.85 days, right? And you multiply that by 24. Alexa, what's 6.85 times 24? 5 times 24 is 164.4. 164 hours in this world. I do believe there's maybe like eight hours of AFK in it. Maybe 10. I don't know for sure. I do AFK in my worlds, but I've yet to build a farm that I've needed to AFK at. Thank you, robot lady. Talking like overall. Oh, like, uh, I'm talking like how on stream you can see how many hours you've played a game. No, that would be a cool statistic. Like if Twitch reported that, that would be a cool statistic. <laughs> Thank you, mistress. I feel like if you could, it wouldn't even be like something open for the public to see. It would be a statistic like the streamer could see in their summary panel or something. Um, which I would love to see. Because my claim um, is that I've... Well, now I'm going to up it. I'm going to up it. I've say, I'm going to say I've played 5,000 hours of Minecraft in my life. I'm going to up it. Back in 2016 or 17, I was saying I played 4,000 hours of Minecraft in my life, and I can, and I've played uh, already hundreds of hours this year between my two worlds. Uh, plus, you know, little stuff on my own, like between 2016 and now. I'm gonna say I've played uh, yes. I'm gonna say I'm, I've played roughly 5,000 hours of Minecraft. Oh, Steam, not Stream. Uh, yeah, if you mapped your uh, Minecraft launcher 
to uh, through stream through Steam and then launched Minecraft through Steam, Steam would track it. But obviously, it wouldn't know anything from before you did that. You could add third-party games to Steam. Uh, just like in the in the bottom left corner, you go to like add a game, um, and instead of like hitting the like a, a, a coupon code button, where you, which is where you normally like redeem like a coupon code or something, you can just like uh, there's another option that's like third-party game or something, and map it to the executable of Minecraft, I believe. But then you have to start the game through Steam for it to track it. How long do you guys estimate that you've played Minecraft? How many hours? Any anyone have that number? Has anyone ever like tracked that for themselves or uh, care to like have an estimate? No freaking clue. Yeah, so I made that number because in 2016 that was the last year I hosted my server right I had been playing Minecraft for uh, uh, four or five years already and my server had a website that tracked my hours within six months I logged over 1200 hours on that server um, that did include some AFK time uh, but I don't know how much. So I just ex extrapolated the data, knowing that I wasn't going to be playing Minecraft for a while. I took it back with how much I remembered I used to play compared to how much I play now. And I came up with the 4,000 hours number. And I kind of just stuck to that. But after this much, I'm going to say I've probably played 5,000 hours after this year. I've been on a server too in many single player worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd love to host a server again, like an open one for the community, but like I would never play on it right now. Like I don't, I wouldn't have any motivation to play on it, right? I used to love like doing creative stuff, doing, I mean, doing stuff in creative and like building a spawn hub and stuff like that. That seemed cool. To, that seemed cool to me back then. Right now, that just that just seems like it would take away from my time to like play survival, which is or hardcore, which is what I want to do much, much more. Ah, uh, shoot. Server for streamers? The, uh, yeah, those like fizzle out though, right? Like, uh, for people who have long-term single-player worlds, Zopa and I agree on this, at least, uh, of all things, uh, that, uh, if you know if you have a long-term single warp single player world you get invited to a server you're gonna play it for a week you're gonna play it for a month maybe and then you're gonna want to go back to your single player world um on the rare occasion you know you might stick it out but like you know that that happens all too often Do you agree? Do you think I we're uh that is that is an incorrect take or what do you think? For some maybe, some maybe not. True. Yeah, it depends on the person, right? Like me right now, I'm definitely in a I want to play on this world because this is like my long-term world. It's got my projects in it that I've started and I have big plans for it. Right. But like for someone who maybe isn't as far into the world as I am, you know, or for someone who maybe, uh, is getting burnt out on their world and is bored with it. then maybe that's right. Maybe that's the right thing for them. 
But getting a new server off the ground is hard. Maybe joining an established server is good. But, you know, if an established server is, like, always adding new members and stuff because members just keep leaving and it has a high turnaround, then that might say something about that server's community. I don't know. I'm not talking about any server in specific, if anyone <laughs> is watching who, know, who, who likes streamers on servers, etc. I'm just talking about I used to host a server. I had friends I streamed with play with me, and I know how it goes. I, I obviously didn't host a streamer only server, but I had streamers who played with me on a server on a public server I hosted. So it's a little anecdotal, it's not exactly the same. Hardcore is really fun, I enjoy playing because of the game, not because I'm just in hardcore, honestly. I'm a non hardcore boy normally since this is my first. Yeah, yeah. Um up until this year I was obviously a a, a softcore boy. But I'm really liking the added risk. It made it made it fun for me again, right? The risk made it fun for me again. I mean, maybe I'll change my tone eventually, but right now I don't think I will. Or at least at the time being, I don't think I will. does have a different feel for sure yeah the, the level of carefulness you have to be like it puts a new spin on it right in softcore you don't want to die but in the end of the world worst case is you lose one inventory of items and in a game like this where it's so easy to get so many items nowadays um losing a single inventory of item even if they all are you know all netherite tools all netherite armor well actually netherite armor like it floats in lava so it don't even matter um which which in softcore i guess that's a that's a godsend uh right unless it's shulker boxes or elytras true but i don't keep shulker boxes on me all my shulker boxes stay in my ender chest Maybe in maybe eventually I will start keeping like one shulker box in my inventory that has like my like day-to-day -day essentials. But I don't know. Cause I have seen that uh Bams carries around his white shulker box everywhere. And like he's got his he's got a couple stacks of food, a couple stacks of elytras in it. Or a couple stacks of rockets, I mean. Spare elytras. You know, that kind of stuff might be good. But I have all that in my ender chest, so I, I wouldn't want another spot for a shulker box. I already use so many spots for, like, carrying things that I want, like, to be able to throw in my hotbar at a moment's notice. That hurts losing a shulker box full of stuff? Yeah, true. True. But I gotta say, uh, losing the world hurts a lot more than losing a single shulker box. You know, comparing the two, I gotta say, I would I would much rather lose an entire inventory of items. Even if, even if it's an entire inventory full of shulker boxes, I would much rather lose that than lose the world. There is not the same amount of risk. It, it's not the same. And that's just uh, what I like about it right now, is the risk. I just need to organize my ender chest with shulkers fully. Yeah, that's why my first end raid, I spent uh, the whole stream in the end, and I ended up with, I think, 33 shulker boxes or something like that. Because uh, I knew I wanted to be able to fill up all 27 slots of my end chest with shulker boxes. So my goal was to go get a stack of, of shells, right? And then uh, I ended up getting a stack in a bit and, you know, it was fine. I'm out. So close to the top too. Okay. I know I have enough in that shulker box down there though. I have enough shells for like 50 to 60 boxes, you think? It takes two. So that would be 50 boxes would be what? 100 shells or so.
Which a hundred shells is what, like a stack and a half? Of uh I closed the two stacks of shells at one point. Oh wow. Yeah, see I see I don't know why I wouldn't I would have uh I did what I did was I immediately crafted all of them. I was like, I'm not gonna keep shells around because the mo cause I I'm not gonna like I'm not ever gonna like think to craft of them later. So I just crafted them all, filled my end chest to the brim with shulkers, and then uh, put a couple spares in places. Yeah. Yeah, I say just legit, just go craft all of those. Next stream, first thing you do, go craft all of those. And just fill up your ender chest with them. Or, uh, you know, just like place a couple in the base. You'll put stuff in them and use them eventually. It, but if you never craft them, you may never... <laughs> It may never occur to you that making more shulker boxes will fix the little specific issue you're having that day. Plus, once you have that many, you may be like, Man, this farm would be nice if like, I could just automatically have it put it into a shulker box. So that way, whenever I need like this, I can just come grab a single shulker box of it. And then obviously it fills up the shulker box first, and then it fills up, you know, like 30 double chests behind it. But if you ever just need a little bit of it, you just show up to the farm, uh, grab the shulker box, replace it with an empty one. And then, yeah, you're good. Gone to craft one or two when I needed some. Eh, maybe, maybe for you. I know for me, it like it would, it, you know, if I'm having a problem where like I'm doing a big farm, right, and it's like, oh man, I need this many shulker boxes of this item, or like you know all my items. There's a chance in the like that day, my brain is so scattered, I wouldn't think of crafting more shulker boxes, and I would like make multiple trips. You know, there's days where my brain is scattered. Your base is becoming a chess monster. That happens a lot. You gotta... You gotta... Mitigate that by... You know, sorting through your stuff as often as you can. Assigning certain things, certain chests. You need to slay them. <laughs> yeah, slay your monsters of chests. Man, I need a shower though. After that, uh, after those push-ups I did earlier, I feel like sweaty, dirty. You know what I'm saying? Ashton's gonna hate me. I get off stream at 2 a.m. and then it's like, uh, yeah, and then it's like, um, uh, I'm not coming to bed. I gotta take a shower first. I mean, she might, she might prefer that, honestly. Don't want me smelling like a pig. Is this the top layer? Oh, I think that this is the top layer, boys. Then we gotta go get the red glass and do some stuff. Stank. <laughs> True. Oh my god, I, I heard... Uh, so, uh, do you guys know of the YouTuber r slash? All he does is basically um, read like top Reddit posts. Uh, I was I had a lot of his videos like just auto playing back to back to back today. Uh, I do 
seen a bit. It's been a bit since you listened. Okay. Well, he did one today uh, on r slash relate or not not one today. He did one that I listened to today. No idea when he did the video on r slash uh, relationship advice. And this lady was like, uh, "Help! My husband and I are in our thirties." And within the last year, my husband has recently been diagnosed uh, with lactose intolerance. Uh, he doesn't think it's a big deal, but how can I get through to him to, to stop drinking milk so he doesn't fart all the time? Because if he doesn't fart, if he doesn't fix it, I'm going to divorce him. Like, I can't stand it. He farts like 30 times a day. And that was a, that was a, that was a, just a great one to listen to. She was like, I can't take it. It's nonstop all day. The whole house smells like shit. Our bed sheets smell like shit. Our car smells like shit. <laughs> She's like, I love him to death, but I legit can't stand living in my house right now. How can I get through to him? He doesn't think it's a problem. Talk about gaslighting. Oh my God. Apparently all it took was her going to sleep on the couch a couple nights in a row because she couldn't stand like being in bed with him For him to realize that it was a, a, a bigger problem than he thought. Oh my god. We only got 60 extra pog We were great, but pog last platforms in Oh my god But I listened to a couple really good ones today There was one that really pissed me off and like made me upset to, to listen to. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it on stream due to like trigger warnings and stuff. Uh, but it was a, uh, it was bad. It was it was one of the. Uh, what was it? Oh, R slash uh, Bridezilla or something. No, I didn't make it to the top. These guys just so happily jump down. I love I love and hate choosing beggar. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. All right, I got to see how to do this top. Give me just a second. I love it because they're interesting but also makes me weep for humanity. <laughs> True, I guess. Um, all right, so first, let me walk. No. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, we're talking about the YouTuber r slash, where his whole, like, YouTube shtick is that he reads, like, top Reddit posts. And he makes them entertaining. Like, he's got, it's like, it's like good content. Uh, but we were talking about a couple one of those that I've watched today that um, were particularly um, upsetting. Is this right? Yeah, this is right. So apparently this glass layer over the top is very important to like make them spawn in packs or something. I'm not sure. That bedrock's unsettling. I love the black bedrock. It looks so much better, dude. The default bedrock is like one of the worst uh, textures in my opinion. And I'm the kind of guy to like, I want to play like vanilla. I don't want to like change the textures and use facts or something, you know, anymore. I used to be like that, but uh, I hate the bedrock er, texture, the default one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, out. Okay, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so then we go out six more in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a weaker void. I gotta say it's a stronger void because uh, this one will actually hit you and deal like damage uh, all at once. All right, two, two, two. But no, I get you, but like, uh, Then is this also eight? Well, let me just check. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do this real quick because I don't know how it's going to line up. Otherwise, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight doesn't stare back I don't know what you mean by that three and then two 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 okay Woo! yeah I didn't spawn proof the top layer yet Yeah, we, we need to put glass to spawn proof the top layer, and I haven't done that yet. Should I do that first? I don't know. I didn't think I'd be far enough away. Wait, hold on, this isn't right. So then, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then it should just be two peaks, right? One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then for some reason... Oh, wait, no, it's not here. Oh, yeah. It, mm. Okay, something's wrong here. Is this, um... Oh, oh, okay, I did it. I did it all off by one block here, so I need to add one there. I need to add one there. I need to add one there. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Then like this. Understood. So it was actually four from the center. It's because I didn't line it up in the center. Well, that music was uh. That would have been the perfect time for the gas to fire, right as the music went, Ooh. <laughs> and then it, then you just hear the, and that's not the sound of a gas at all. I tried, it didn't work. That is not the sound I meant to make. Has anyone seen any cool YouTube re videos recently? Worth bringing up? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, six, okay. What is this part? So at the very top, this... Got that. I guess I should go get more rockets. So the very top, it's important to have a glass... Um, uh, layer around it like that. Because it, for some, it, it has to do with some way Minecraft decides on how to spawn mobs, right? It makes 
it increases the likelihood that Minecraft will spawn like a pack of mobs. So like instead of spawning just a single pigmen, it increases the chances of it spawning several pigmen all at once. And that's because of like there's more spawnable places, but they aren't blocks that mobs can actually spawn on. So it would try to spawn them on the glass and then it would spawn end up spawning them on the platform or, or something weird like that. What was I here for? Rockets. Rockets. I don't know the exact stuff. Uh, if you're really interested in it, uh, Nembom's video on this farm, he explains exactly why it's very, very important. I know it increases the spawning area, but nothing can spawn on it. It works with leaves too. Yeah, but so what happens is Minecraft sees this area as like something, as like a full block that could potentially spawn a mob. And then it tries to spawn the mob and realizes, oh, I can't spawn it here. So I'm going to spawn it. I'm going to look where else can I spawn it instead. And then it chooses one of the platforms or something along those lines. I'm not an expert, um, but that's how I understood it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, it does work with leaves too. In all the Enderman farms, everyone always uses leaves. My last world, I did black, oops, I did black glass. I built my entire Enderman farm and the pathway to it and everything. I built it uh, out of black glass. So it was like real, like you didn't see anything. All you saw was like uh, the spawning platform in the middle of the, uh, you know, where the Endermen actually spawn, then they would run across black glass to like the, uh, bo the safe box that I made for like killing them in and, you know, doing my enchanting and stuff like that. But like, and then the path to it, you couldn't even see. Uh, so it was, it was real cool looking. It was very voidy. And I liked it. I'm not going to do that same thing again this time around just because uh, I don't want to do the same thing twice in a row. Like last time around when I built this, I didn't have the means to get this much glass. So I didn't even put this ring around it. Uh, and I, I think I used light gray glass for all the stuff. I'm using red this time. I, I don't know. Just, just so if you ever see like a clip or a VOD of the old world and you see a clip or VOD of the new world, you'd be able to tell the difference apart. Which I know you're like, oh, but didn't you delete all your VODs back uh, a while back and like uh, all your clips too? And I was like, well, I still have all the VODs downloaded and one day may do something with them. I don't know. It's actually a, it's actually a very uh, expensive endeavor. Each stream I download is 12 to uh, 15 gigabytes uh, for my normal stream time. Oh, how long is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. And like uh, that hard drive space ain't cheap on my servers. I've got well over a terabyte just of downloaded VODs from this summer.
Why? No idea. Am I gonna do anything with them? Probably not. But am I a data hoarder? Very much so. If you're a part of r slash uh, data hoarder, you'll very much understand why. I can't I can't fathom letting letting content I've created go away. Qyun, do you feel me? Do, do, I I assume you probably don't download every one of your vods and archive it and all that stuff. But like, do you get where I'm coming from as a streamer? Like it's content you've made, right? Like I I sure as hell don't want to let it like disappear into the void you don't have that kind of space uh, i have I, I do at the moment uh, i'm i'm running out i think i only have maybe like 10 or 12 terabytes free um but uh Okay. Between storage HD on my PC and external, I have maybe three to four terabytes. I mean, that's a that's a good amount still. I well, my computer's my desktop's got uh, like seven terabytes, and then I have a server in there uh, that I host a lot of stuff on. It's got three ten terabyte drives in RAID. Five that make that makes it about 20 usable terabytes and then I have another backup server off-site at a family member's house which stopped working so I actually brought it back uh, and that had four 10 terabytes uh, so it had about 30 usable terabytes of storage um, but I have that back at my house now and I need to like reformat it and just see if I can even get it working again as an on-site backup. Because right now I have no backups because that went down. Which that's not a place you want to be in if you're if you if you're working with this amounts of data. A lot of it is stuff I could care less if I lost, like some movies and whatnot. But um, there's a lot of it that I would be real upset if I lost. And I haven't had a proper backup made of any of it in months now. Like in, like, uh, yes. Yeah, so. Should go to bed? Then go to bed, man. You don't gotta be here. You've been here, you've been here a long ass time tonight. So, like, you're good, homie. Going for the lurk. Good last on the rest of the- Yeah, I'm probably just gonna get, like, uh, the top of this finished. Which, you know, I'm probably maybe, like, 20 minutes away from getting the top of this finished. And then who knows what we'll do after that. I may start on the bottom. I may not. These are what prevent gas spawns, by the way. So these blocks here are what's preventing gas from spawning. Up here. Oh, let's get this side too then. 
So. Oh, shoot, that's not what I wanted. Those tortilla chips look so cursed. They are holiday themed red and green. Oh, you have, you have, I thought you were talking about something I have. I was like, I don't have tortilla chips. I got a couple cookies behind me, actually. My grandma made them. And dropped them off at the doorstep. Um, alright, so how did these work again? Okay, I think that's good. And then over this way. Okay, then we just have the corner bits to do. Luckily, I've just got the pattern in my head now, but we're done. Cool. Let's fly up and make sure it's all symmetrical. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. All right, let's go get some string from down below. So we should have string in one of these chests. See how many there were up there? Yeah, that's, that's what the pack spawning did. All right, so then we just need string to go around here. God, I can't hardly see it. I know it's definitely not coming through on stream, but I can barely see it myself. I don't remember what he said this does. All I remember is that it's important to make this work better. But we had enough. Sweet. Uh... Okay. How much time we got? 40 minutes still. Wow. We finished it. We finished the top. Pog, you were here. We finished the top portion, which was my goal for today, and we finished it with 40 minutes to spare. So then, yeah, this is going to be a two-day project. I remember this took me so long in the last world.
See, without spawn proofing the nether below, now they just sp now they just uh all spawned down there and no more. You know what I will do? I will go put the temporary uh little path to an AFK spot. So how far out is this? So you skip one, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen away. Fifteen away after skipping one. Okay, let's go do that real quick. You're gonna go out this end for it. So we skip one. And then we go out 15 from here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my god, look at them. Look at them. Oh my god, it's beautiful, ain't it? Alright, so then this is the AFK spot if we were going to just... Raining bacon, true. So yeah, now whenever I come AFK here, I can either just place two pieces of glass or um, something else or two random other blocks and nothing can spawn on top of it. Glass would obviously be ideal, but you don't always have glass on you. But look, once you're down here long enough, then mobs are spawning below you and they get filled up by the mob cap and it's... It is what it is. I don't have a crafting table with me, do I? That's not cool. I didn't bring any wood with me. For a crafting table. Okay. Whoa. In my test world, something's broken and none of them are falling down. It's honestly fine because it helps me uh, see what I need to build. Alright, so I know I'm going to just need these two shulker box or three shulker boxes, right? No, this one, this one, and this one, yeah. Empty, and we can put the empty ones back. Oh, this one's also empty. Oh, a couple more spawned up top. Should I, like, pick up that gold and see how much it is? Oh, it filled up the whole inventory. It's quite a bit of gold. Oh, man. We need another empty shulker box back. I know we are going to need some glass, too, actually, so we're just going to bring, like, all this with us. Because, yeah, we have room to put it in there if it's a problem. We also are going to need shulk or er, trap doors. I think I have a bunch with me. Buttons? He has a button? I don't have a button. I didn't bring any buttons. He didn't tell me to bring buttons. Oh, well. Let's go.
what's the quickest way to move up in the nether right you can't use water things uh to shoot yourself up what's the quickest water uh, elevator in the nether is it like the minecart kind where you um just look up and or spam right click to get to the top is that safe though isn't there a potential for you to like fall back down sometimes I really think Minecraft is one of the. F I think Minecraft one is fairly fast, but I don't know if it's safe or not. Really, I'm pretty sure it is like actually the fastest way to move upwards. Yeah, my I, I minecart. I, I figured that much as soon as I read it the second time. Um, I think it is like the fastest way to move upwards. But yeah, I feel like it isn't a hundred percent safe. Um. I feel like I should have a lot more trap doors than that. I feel like I was supposed to have a couple of like stacks of trap doors. Oh well. All right, so I needed, first things first, I need three ender chests. I would just make a landing pad and fly up. No, I want it to be an inclusive spirit uh, experience. Um, yeah, I want it to be like a, all-inclusive experience um first let's get a piece of glass here like i want it to be part of the tunnels if you know what i'm saying like i i want it to feel like the tunnel just transitions to being vertical What the fuck? Uh. Oh shoot. Uh, I need to put in the rest of this real quick. It's just a couple trap doors. That's what we need to do first. So how do these trap doors go? So they go directly here here and here and then also here here and here uh-huh and then yeah then here and here then I don't think those bottom ones are actually there. No, the bottom ones get removed. So now they can die immediately. So this is like where you stand and kill them. Um, but I'm not going to aggro them right now. I do need soul sand. Right? So yeah, the soul sand. Oh, and then I also need my glazed terracotta too. Okay. There's my t glazed terracotta. Then I also need my glass because we're going to be doing a bit of pillaring. And glass is my disposable block this time around. So I need three pieces right here. Gut instinct for me is to never hit zombie piglins, even if I know I'm safe and I, or I can kill them. True, yeah, because this one guy is out here, I don't want to start a fight with him. Plus, I'm working in here, and potentially these guys might be able to land a hit on me through the corners while I'm, like, pillaring around here. I don't want to risk that. Oh, shoot, this is supposed to be that. Then that is supposed to be there. I like how I chose red for both. I didn't even mean to, right? Uh, I didn't even mean to. What was I doing here, though? Okay, so then these two 
over on the opposite side. Underneath, or no, I, I do destroy these two blocks. And, uh, yeah, those, those happen. Then he has, he has a block there and a block there, probably to prevent me from getting into that spot, honestly. Um... You only need cactus and trapdoors for long AFK sections can definitely be used casually like typical end XP farms. Okay, I don't remember what that's for, but we'll come back to it later. Um, next is we're going to grab a couple pistons, an observer. Oh, I see. Ah, I like this. Well, that's the simplest double piston extender I've ever seen. Okay, so if we want auto kill mode versus looting mode, there's a button to press. So let me get that set up next. I somehow got to place blocks lower than we are. We'll go down that low for now and pillar out. And put those back. Then we'll just do that. So let's grab the sticky pistons and observers. We also need shroom lights and buttons apparently. I didn't I wasn't told to bring buttons. Oh my god, guys, what is this? Who doesn't tell me to bring buttons? So right here goes a shroom light and we're supposed to oh! Where did he come from? Oh wait, he's the one guy that's been out here. Let's see if I can nudge him off. Adios. All right, cool. Now we got no more. So him gone. We need to get under and place blocks underneath. Two pistons, a single piston, and then an observer right there. And then also an additional honey block right there. All right. Then we need three glass panes, wherever those are. And they go right here. Okay, so then we gotta destroy this extra ring of... of red around here. Oh shoot, um... Gonna lose a bunch of it, but that's fine. Oh shoot, yeah, I forgot about this stuff. Okay. So if I had a button, oh my god, it'd be so nice. Should I go back and get a button? Did I bring any wood with me? 
I did not. Can you make a button out of blackstone? Or polished blackstone or anything like that? You really should be able to. Ugh. I'm gonna go back to the base and grab probably just like a bunch of stack of logs or something. Because I know I need quite a few buttons uh, now that I'm looking at this. I don't know how necessary all of them are. I think there are black stuff. I don't think so, man. Um, I'm going to need that. Search button. Polish blackstone buttons. Okay, never mind. Wow, you're right. Where'd my blackstone go? Actually, let's just move all this stuff up to the top here because we're not going to need any of it here. Right? Uh, look of superiority. Hey now, don't get too cocky. Okay, now... Blackstone. Let me just turn a whole stack of it into polished. You should be able to make a button in here out of it. I've never looked at a blackstone recipe in the freaking crafting terminal. Um, how many can I see that I need for sure? Three? You know what I'll do? I'll make uh, eight. So look at this. Look at this, right? You press this button, it double extends, and then they all fall down there. And now it's an auto killing thing. Um, oh, it did not double extend. Why did it not double extend? Whoops. It only single extended. Um. Ah, it's the wrong way around. That's why the observer should be Facing the other way. Shit, I'm not gonna face that there. I guess we're just gonna have to break this. Do that. Yeah. And then it also, okay, so it wanted buttons right here as well. I don't know why, but it did. So then this comes back, that goes there. Yep, now it double extends, and you can see that uh, that glass is on top of the soul sand to prevent spawns. And then you press it again, it double extends, it brings it all back. And now it's not in auto kill mode. Beautiful. Oh, you saw him make pressure plates out of it. Yeah, I've never. I can honestly say I've probably. Every single time I've gone to craft blackstone, it has been in a stone cutter. Because I know you get better rates for stairs uh, in here. So, like, I always come to this when crafting blackstone. Because blackstone's always on short supply. Alright. So, I don't 
know the point of this, but it exists, and I'm gonna put it in. Uh, there is literally a sign on it that says, for casual use, you don't need this. But, um, if you're planning on AFKing here, you probably do need it. Um, yeah, so I don't know what this is for. But yeah, you're here. When you're AFK here, you want a sign behind you. I'm sure if I rewatched the video. Oh yeah, on stream last night, Google lied to me. I was looking to check if in the end, what light level Enderman stopped spawning at. It said 11. It's definitely seven, bruh. Seven or eight. Just like the overworld, right? So, I feel like this has something to do with, like, getting their items. You might... I, I don't quite remember. I know, but it said 7 overworld, but said in the end it was 11. Really? Yeah, that feel like that's a lot. Alright, so that's the entire platform. Now we just need to work for the underside of the platform. I tested it and it does seem seven is the one. Nice. I don't know what these side hoppers are for, but they sure as hell exist. Um, all right, let's get the hoppers. Just a stack for now. Um, I, I have a good amount of glass. Okay. So we need to get an additional block lower than this. Then one day I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get rid of this whole pillar all the way down, but it's good right now to have that block. So hopper, hopper. So how do these hoppers go? There's three off of either end. Uh, okay, in the front there's only three. Gotcha. Front there's own okay wait it wants them going a specific order right so yep there's three off of there then one two three then off the front we go to there and to there then we need to get around to the back and put a one there and one two three. Then one, two, three. I don't know why they jut out so much, but they do. Uh, mobs don't spawn on hoppers, right? Is that a confirm? Mobs do not spawn on hoppers? Because he doesn't have them spawn proofed or anything like that. So then two blocks under those hoppers is our next tray of hoppers, I should say. Um... And what do we have here? It's just under the front two. I could be wrong, but I think they don't. I, I think they don't as well. So it's just under the front two, and they're all actually pointing straight down. Okay. It's weird I'm building this like down instead of up, but I have to make sure I get the floor the the level's right. Right, is this right? There's just a single block gap? No, there's a double block gap, actually. There's two blocks of gap between this and that. Okay.
And that's for good reason. Now he's got some wacky uh, minecart hopper thing happening here, which we will replicate. I just first need to do this. So all these have to be pointing straight down. <laughs> There's half a stack of hoppers just right there. I could put carpets on top of those hoppers just for like peace of mind, you know? What do you think? Think that's worth it? I don't know if I brought any carpets with me, but I could definitely, uh... I could definitely swing it next time around. Alright, do I have my... Uh, or next time I come back, I should say. Okay, so this wall actually needs to stay there. Um... Okay, we need more grindstones. We need glass panes, and we need our seven minecart hoppers. Alright. I can make this happen. Alright. Oh, that's my food. I kind of need that. Alright, so we'll keep those on us. We'll keep our seven minecart hoppers on us. We also have our glass panes, and I said grindstones was the last one. I don't see my grindstones anywhere. Here they are. Okay. Should I turn down the mob volume? I think it's a bit loud. What do you think? I always like having- oh, my hostile creatures are already down real low. Oh my god. Okay. Um... Wait. Wait, this way is the front? Oh, shoot. Okay. So... That, I'm out of glass now. Great. Let's go grab some more. I should have kept a stack on me. Oh, I wish I knew how people come up with these designs. Their minds are built different. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit crazy. But it is also just like doing lots of redstone stuff, you know? You get to start thinking about how redstone stuff works every time you need to tackle a, a redstone issue. And then the more you do, the just... The more like, oh yeah, yeah there's this one weird mechanic. Doctors hate this one weird thing. Alright, so what I'm gonna do first... Oh, I didn't bring rails to place these on, but also the height of certain blocks allowing certain things to happen as well. Yeah, that's a th I didn't bring rails. I need ra- Man, I managed to not have to go back for buttons, but I'm gonna have to go back for rails. Because I don't have any wood to make any sticks. I have iron in an en in a shulker box in the ender chest, but I think we're gonna have to call it a night. Uh, what was the other thing I said I was gonna need? Oh, I think it was buttons, right? Was there anything else? Was it just the buttons I was uh, uh I was thinking about going back for? So I think that means I just need to get um, what do you call it? Uh, rails. I'll also bring wood just in case. Uh, let's let's go. Well, let's pick up the glass just for funsies. Oh man.
Oh, I don't like this music going through this part of the tunnel. If there's any music to die to a magma cube to, it's this music. Oh, there are, we're surrounded on both sides. Holy shit. This music is actually appropriate. <laughs> it's real short-lived, though. Monka S, yeah. They know. So I imagine we probably have like two more hours worth of work on this uh, on this farm and then we get to uh, start spawn proofing the land around it uh, underneath or start working on the barter farm. Um, and I think I think we probably have like many hours of time needed uh, Spawn proofing the land around it underneath the nether roof because I want to be able to use looting on it last time around I couldn't use looting on it and the farm was it, it was not quick enough to like go do a session while I was live I had to go AFK but like I feel like if I was able to use looting three I could maybe spend 15 minutes on stream and get the gold I need you know um, unless I'm doing like hours and hours of AFK bartering farming then I would probably need to do a hours and hours of AFK uh, gold to get that but Wait, shouldn't Monka S be a, a BTTV emote? Let me see. I thought I had that. Oh, that was wrong. Yeah, it was. Oh, wait, this chat doesn't show it. Duh, it does show that you did Monka S. <laughs> uh, I'm... I hate the built-in uh, chat to uh, Streamlabs OBS doesn't allow for BTTV. Oh, I thought I looked at him. We're not in... With a single piece of gold, a single piece of netherite, and a single piece of diamond armor, and then wings. We are not in a place to fight an enderman. I'm going to say that right now. Are we ending soon? Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. We're going back to the base. We're gonna get some moon, some wood, and then uh, some rails. And then we may go back to the farm and end the stream there. Oh my God, no, I need to go put people's names on the wall. I always forget to do that. Oh my God, it's a Monday. I got people who deserve a spot in the wall that I didn't do it while they were here. I feel so shitty about that. Like literally every time. Oh God. Linksy got into the trophy room and he's not here anymore, I bet. Uh, then we got, you know, top gifters and top cheerers from last week to go in there. Uh, I know Zopa and Hockey Dad and Stavey was on it. Can you recommend a raid or do I have someone? I have not looked, uh, but I'll take recommendations if I don't find anyone that I would want to. But it's still going to probably be like 10 more minutes. Maybe not quite 10, but...
Mob drops. All goof. All right. I need two more of these so bad. I didn't get any advancement today, which is kind of uh, sucky. How much progress did you get on the farm today? I've, I'm, for the entire farm, I'm probably like 75% of the way done. Um, I got all the big stuff out of the way. Now it's just the redstone contraption for storage, which I think is about, you know, so I've spent four and a half hours working on this. Probably, probably like maybe three and a half of active time working on it today. And I think I have about, uh, I think within the first two hours of stream tomorrow, I'll be done. Um, or when, oh, kind of Wednesday, I'm not probably doing Minecraft. I don't know. So I better get everyone on the wall. I better go do that. Um, what did I say I needed? I said I need rails. So let's get this gold out. The gold will obviously go in here. To ingots. To blocks. Um, then we can use one of these as our throw that in it then wood We have a whole stack of spruce logs just in case we'll throw that in there, too The ore we have a little bit of that and then mob drops Yeah Oh, auto sorter. Uh, have you have you seen how this farm does the auto sorter? It's um interesting. It's interesting. Um, the items come through too quickly for hoppers to handle, so you have to set up hopper minecarts to dispense to other hopper minecarts then to um then that's those hopper minecarts get split into six separate streams of hoppers then those sets of hoppers get dispensed into like a a, a slime machine thing that then pushes that then propels the items over uh over more hoppers that are the filters uh, it's insane. Um, no, I'm not going to have it be a shulker box loader because there's no purpose for it to put nuggets into a shulker box. Uh, it's going to load it into a huge wall of chests like this. Then I'm going to come at the wall with my axe and just dump thousands onto the ground and stand there and craft them into ingots, then into blocks, then, then come back and... <laughs> Thank you for telling me not to make this farm. It's really amazing. It makes a supposedly 90,000 blocks an hour or items an hour. That's why it's it it, it, it overwhelms hoppers. Like uh it's great. I love it. With uh 10 out of 10. This is the second time I'm building it. The last time I never even got it close to its old rates. All right. Uh or it's uh Sounds like a Rube Goldberg machine. Yeah, uh, definitely does. Once you see it, it looks like it could be a Rube Goldberg machine. Hey, let's watch the frames dip. We're at 200, now we're at 90, now we're at 47, 43, 34, 32, 28, <laughs> 30, 29, 27, 21, oh boy. <laughs> Oh, we're now up to 80 in here. Nice, nice, nice. What are we here for again? Oh yeah, we're going straight to the top. Woo! All right. Oh, we don't even have enough signs here. Oh my God. Can't believe I didn't immediately beeline back to the base for Linksy. I feel so bad. Oh my god. I'ma wait. I'ma wait for Linksy. I'ma wait. 
I'm gonna leave the request in and I'm gonna wait. We'll do it uh we'll do it Wednesday or so. And then I don't have enough signs. Let's uh I'm so bad about the signs, I wanna make sure I get them done on Monday this week. I wanna make sure I get the, the signs put in on Monday. Uh, with the wall redemption or with the trophy room redemption, I'm supposed to just like stop what I'm doing and go do that. And I'm really bad at it. Do we have any more dark oak in here? Not a single dark oak. Plants? Dark oak saplings? Not a single dark oak sapling? What? All right, let's go get some dark oak wood. Bad Colonel. Yeah. Uh, 15,000 points ain't nothing to scoff at, and I just like ignore it. It came in in a really busy time today, which is no excuse really for me. It's just that's, that's legit what happened. It came in at a busy time during the stream, and uh, I was in the middle of something, I assume. Okay, basically, I'm going to take all of these back to the base and convert them into signs and put all those signs in that chest. So we should theoretically be good for a couple weeks. Or by a couple weeks, I mean like many weeks. It's not even a stack. Yeah, that's fine, actually. The frost walker, I forgot. Oh, this isn't the ice spike part that I de demolished. That is over there. I was looking at this like, wow, that's really intact for being demolished. And I'm like, wait, I didn't demolish it. Did Bams break his base because of Frostwalker? Break his base? What do you mean? What part of his base can be broken by Frostwalker? He doesn't have water anywhere that I know of. Maybe there's something I missed, I don't know. Like farms in his base? I don't know of any that would get broken by that, but maybe. I think that's enough, chat. I think that's enough. Uh, let's also just bring some more white dye with me. Another stack should be good. You might be thinking of someone else you can't remember. Like, what farms in his base uh, are you thinking of that would be affected by Frostwalker? Like, I mean, his cactus farm has ice in it, but he hasn't gone and stood up by those as far as I know. Or has water in it, flowing water. But even then, it would just remelt. If you ever did freeze ice, it would just remelt because of Frostwalker ice is only temporary. Oh, <gasps> I didn't even hear that damage happen. Oh my god.
Oh, I also wanted carpet to take back with me. That was what it was. Okay. Who goes on the walls this week? This one is for top cheerers. Top cheers of 12, 27, or no, 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 12, 13, 20. 12, 27 is the last date I have typed in because I just write, wrote in all the dates up till 30, up till the end of the month. But yeah. all right, we're looking at hockey. Oh, no capitals. Hockey. Dad. How do you spell it? H C K E Y D A D. Hockey dad. Coming over to 5,000 bits for the. Or, damn it. No, 2,200 bits for the week. Then magical ash with three H's. Coming in with 800 bits for the week. And then stavy nine coming in with 200 bits for the week. Very pog chant, people. Clap it up. Clap it up. Then top gifters of 12, 13, 20, 20. Coming in at first place, Hockey Dad. Yeah, Hockey Dad again. Taking two W's with 10 gift subs. And Zopa, second place with six gift subs. Clap it up. Hearts in the chat. Y'all are amazing. But you already knew that. And I will go get carpet in my inventory. And we will remember that Linksy will be done on Wednesday. I probably will do a little bit of streaming of Minecraft on Wednesday if our daughter is not uh, going to sleep on time. Um, yeah, as soon as she is asleep and Ashen feels comfortable coming downstairs, that's when we start the normal Wifey Wednesday stuff. Of, uh, I don't know what we're going to play this week. It may be GeoGuessr again. It may be something else. There's some other games she wanted to play. But I think it had a minimum of four players. So, like, we wouldn't be able to play with just the two of us. And we would have to either join online randos and or something. I'm not sure. Carpet. Miss items. Is there any carpet in here? 51 white carpet. Do we... No, we need red carpet for sure. Wait, can you dye carpet or like... Uh... Can you dye carpet or is it only the full block? You can dye carpet. Beautiful. Pray she stays up. Nah, dude. Nah, we'll we'll get probably at a minimum of half an hour to like an hour as the minimum. Well, you didn't know you could dye the, the carpets? Me neither. I just tried it and it worked. Um yeah. Oh. I only needed like four pieces, but this is it for tonight, guys. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. We obviously built an amazing portion of the gold farm. Way, way more than I expected, honestly. Uh, my goal was to get the top spawning platforms and all that done. Uh, but I truly did end up with, uh, but like, I didn't expect to get that done. That was my goal, but I didn't expect it to happen, you know? Uh, yeah, so that's it. We got way more than that. I expect we will have the farm fully operational within two hours of stream time. Come Friday. Maybe Wednesday if the baby don't sleep good enough. Uh, let me see if there's anyone to, uh, to raid at the moment. I'm open to suggestions. If uh, Actually, no, I don't. I'm not going to raid with five. Not, unless who who would you suggest?
Draco. Yeah, he's in my follow list. I was gonna... Uh, he's someone I do raid regularly. I just did him uh, two days ago. I'm not gonna raid him again within a week. Nah, dude. I, I've, I raided Draco like... Probably six months ago was my first interactions with him. I can actually see when I followed him, but I'm not gonna right now. All right, guys, but that's it. Wait, where's the music? When the music stops. Peace out. update backup of the world just finished it was 804 megs we're getting so close to that gig mark